Hey guys, how's it going? Hopefully it's all working. Oh, it looks like the uh, laptop's a little bit more wonky than what we've had before. But how is it going? We have got our Mario hats. We thought we'd, we actually got these for next week, uh, but they hadn't arrived yet, but they arrived today. So seeing as we've already got the sets, we thought we would wear them for the stream. Uh, people already said nice hats. So let's just quickly go through everyone to see who's on at the moment. I think there's a couple of comments from earlier on in the day. I don't know if they're here or not. But hey, Dual Face Productions, if you're here, we've got Pop Block Shop if he's here. Hey, mate, absolutely awesome. Hi, Drew, how's it going? Hey, Bergsy, Generic Stud, CB Bricks, Atiz, uh, Daily Brick, Rogue Runner, Octane, Thermoplastic, not seen you mm. before, mate. Um, unknown Romanian Collector, hey, Sean's channel, how's it going? T Bricks again, Alexander, who else have we got? Keep scrolling. Uh, I think that's everyone, and DL Bricker. So, oh, and Ryan, hey, guys, how's it all going? So today we are going to be building this one first, which is the uh, Toad's Treasure Hunt, which we had left from yesterday. But we also have a couple more if we get chance. So we've got a couple of the little um, buildable packs. One of these are the suits, I'm guessing. Fire Cat Mario packs. and Cat Mario, which we might just leave them for, this, for the stream if no one wants to. But we also have the um, Desert Pokey set as well. So that's a smaller set we might do at the end, depending on how much time we have. I think this one's a little bit smaller than Bowser's Castle, which is in the background with the uh, with all the setup. So we may get around to doing both of them, but we're going to probably do another maybe two to three hours, depending. Obviously, we've got work again. tomorrow. So, um, so yeah. Ooh, it's going bad, apparently. What does that mean? Oh, how's it going? I think it's going bad. Hopefully not the stream's going bad. But other than that, oh, Chris Murray's in. Well, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Chris has said, well, we got these actually. These are from Amazon and they were $12.99 for both of them. So they're not the highest of qualities, but they're pretty funny. Uh, I did want to I did want to get a Mario Odyssey one, but they're super expensive. So I wasn't going to do that because I don't think it's something I'm going to be wearing outside the house. Hey, Rogue Runner, Rogue's in. So I've opened the first bag of this already just because it's really boring opening the box and stuff. And we already have, is this, uh, this is Toadette, isn't it? So yeah. let's quickly build Toadette. And if you want to, Carry on with the set. So I don't know if you guys actually. Um, oh, thank you very much, CB. Just post the stream. I now always forget to post it onto the uh, onto the um, the Discord channel. But um, yeah, I don't know if, how excited you guys are seeing Mario sets. Um, obviously, I am super excited about these. Uh, yeah, you've been excited since they got announced, haven't you? Oh yeah, been definitely. Waiting for these sets. Yeah, I mean, Sam. when people. Are asking, oh, how did you get hold of them? We basically were traveling around all day to get these, and then we literally jumped straight on yesterday when I actually managed to find them after a couple of people had said where there were potential to get some. So, yeah, that's good. I, th I think the hats are popular. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving me a sore head already. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how long we'll actually last in them because it's quite hot up in it's this very, room, it's and very we've got to have the windows shut because it's a bit noisy outside. Um, and obviously, hats keep your head quite warm. So, We'll see how we go. Oh, definitely. We're going to have to have another shower today before tomorrow, I think. Um, but yeah. Oh, she's got a oh. little hair pieces. So I'm building Toadette at the moment. So I think she's the first character you scan into the game to then unlock the level. And CB Bricks is asking um, at some point, could we show Bowser because he missed the end of yesterday's stream? Yes, so definitely. In a minute, we'll, we'll swap over building and you can show Bowser while I start. Do some building. Next, yeah, we can do that. Time, That's so, a good idea. Yeah. yeah, we can do that. And um, we can show yeah, some of the other second. sets, like the starter pack as well. Um, but yeah, absolutely no trouble at all. And this is the this is a new piece, which is quite interesting. That's it's quite the uh, cool. the cone for the top. This is obviously in the poly bag for the um, the mushroom set as well. But obviously she has a pink one, so um, I think Toad must have the same one as the actual poly bag because I think his his is red anyway. Which has a white one, and these guys also don't have a tile. Interestingly. Because the tile doesn't go on them, it goes in front of them. Because obviously Mario is not going to jump on the head, because that'd be a bit rude, wouldn't it? So yeah. she has a little question mark one instead that goes in front of her. Like speech that. Mark. So she has a speech mark a one, speech which mark. I think if then Mario goes near here, he'll get coins or something. So she is here on there, and I think that's it for the first one. So mm -hmm. yeah, now I need to. Get Mario. So here's Mario if you guys haven't seen him before. A dead-eyed Mario here. Lego Mario time. Lego Mario time. So you have to scan Mario. And actually, I think I need to connect him first via Bluetooth to the app. So let's do that. Lots of technology with this Lego set. Oh, indeed. Um, obviously, it is, it is Nintendo, so you kind of yeah. expect it. So there we go. Added the new set. 
and it now will show up on here. So as you can see, it's a little bit, uh, there we go, it is showing, it's just a little bit too yeah, light, but there we go, oh, there, you go. there it is. So this is obviously Toad's treasure. And so you click on it now, and then you can start building the set. So let's open bag two, which is actually Toad. So that's pretty cool. I'll show you quickly uh, Toadette herself as well. So there's Toadette. She's pretty cool. She has the same legs, actually, as the Goombas, which is quite funny. And yeah. she's got the clip-on legs and then the uh, made um, hair pieces, which is pretty nice. So I think we've got some new people in the chat. Lorraine Fox has joined. People are saying hi to Hello. you as well. Atiz is saying hi. Hi, Atiz. Uh, Rogue's hi, loving Ryan. Toad. Yeah, Toad is absolutely, well, Toad actually say is absolutely awesome. Um, but yeah, so Toad's next. So this is really the main reason you would get this set, I think, is for Toad and, and Toadette, because they are exclusive to this this set alone. Make sure I get everything out of the bag as well. So I'll build one, two, and three, and then as these ones get bigger, uh, yeah. you can then take over, and um, we'll, I'll show we'll the, show the, I'll show the uh, Bowser yeah. off. Yeah, definitely. Because these are just the little build of characters, so you might as well get these out I think Brixton Runners has joined us now. Hello. Hey, mate, how's it going? I hope you're saying all of the hats. I might have to have a breather from it every now and again because it is pretty yeah. hot on here. Also, don't forget that you got to watch the camera. Not that yeah. it matters too much, but. Should we move Mario? Mario's kind of. I can move Mario again now and turn him off, actually. I'll put him over here uh, and we'll, I'll put him back on again when we play the uh, the level in a second. I was about to try and use your headphones as a mouse then. It does it look work similar. So well. it does it look feels similar. similar as well, but. Doesn't have the same effect. Oh, so um, so interestingly, Toad's mm. face is actually a pole block, whereas Toadette's is only oh, half yeah. because she has the hair pieces to make oh, up. Oh, I like her hair pieces. I yeah. see them as you make. Yeah, they're made out of connect balls in pink, and then oh, two uh, two uh, dots, uh, not oh, dots, like studs with a hole in. Yeah. But I mean, I I absolutely love these bubble characters. I've got to say, I actually I think that, I'm gonna say it. I think they're better than many things, <laughs> but I won't say it too loud in case people hear me on the chat. Um. <laughs> So CB Bricks has said you're slowly convincing him to buy Mario. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, yeah, I mean it, they're expensive, uh, very, uh, and that's actually um, I did the I, well, I started to do the review of Bowser's Castle because I've been playing on it all day. Yeah, because uh, I, I, that's why I did, decided to do the stream later because you guys are saying there were issues in America, time watching in Australia, and I have I'm so surprised how many people we have from uh, around the world. It's absolutely yeah. crazy. So I thought I'll do four o'clock every night. I did it at 4.15 today because of um, Jar Bricks had a premiere out, so I didn't want to interfere with his premiere. Um, but I'm going to do it at 4 o'clock both days next weekend as well. Yeah, um, and, and Monday as well, maybe, because I've got the day off work next week. Yeah, and next not Monday. tomorrow. Yeah, because, exactly. because I had it ready for these sets, but obviously I managed to get a couple early. But um, what was I saying? I don't know what that came to then. Oh, yeah, Bowser's Castle. I think it's a great set, but it's very, very expensive. And if you want to do the playability... It may be worth spending your money on a lot more of the cheaper sets mm. to have more play. It depends if you want display pieces or um, yeah or not. I love it because it's an awesome display piece. Um, I think CB Brooks is a bit like you. If I buy one, I will not rest until I collect them all. That's definitely where you were at. That was it? that was the you thing. You were like, yeah. I can't have some of them. I I want to well, collect the whole. And set. I think they've been very clever because I think there's only basically one set you can avoid, which is the Piranha Plant Slide to get yeah. all of the characters. Um, I think that one, the Guarded Fortress is a great one to get quite a few of the figures. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So that is Toad. Oh, I think they heard you on the stream. So Octane Thermoplastic. Um, yes, definitely better than mini. I, I kind of, I do think that they are better than minifigs, to be honest, because you can't get this kind of scalability with minifigs no, and stuff. No. But there they both are. There's Toad and Toadette. They look really cool. Yeah. And we might have actually, guys, been able to get hold of a microphone today, so the audio quality might be getting better. Yeah, we spent a lot of time looking, and then hopefully camera quality will be getting better on streams as well. Obviously, it's a very vast difference between the quality of my videos and the quality of these, but I don't have the connection cables to use my other camera for these streams at the moment, and I think it would blow up the internet with that camera. It's a yeah. bit too high resolution, so I need to figure out ways to, to do the live streams yeah. a bit better. But hopefully you guys don't mind too much anyway. Yeah. Oh, I need Mario again. I think you're having an effect on lots of people though. Bricks and Runners have said um, they weren't convinced beforehand, but seeing the stream yesterday, they're now adding them to their list. So oh. I, I I have to say I'm completely there with you. So these sets were always about um, Chris. Chris loves Mario. He's a big gaming fan. 
Um, like I say, I'm one so, of those people that actually has a degree in gaming, and that's yeah. true. I actually have a master's in video game design. Um, yeah. I'm one of those geeks. So, <laughs> so you've always, I, I, always been a big fan I, of video games. I've done papers on Mario and Mario Kart. Yeah. I again back in the day when the Wii, I was at, I was doing my masters, and I did um, <laughs> I did a paper on ergonomics of which is the best controller to use to play Mario Kart Wii. <laughs> Yeah, so um, like bit of a dust subject. So, so <laughs> <laughs> these sets were something that obviously Chris was obsessed with from the moment he saw them. But I wasn't that convinced. I was a bit like, eh, like they're nice, but I wasn't. I didn't really get it, and the playability. I was like, it just feels a bit uh, naff. Like, will I have enough imagination? Will it be fun? Actually, since we built them. They've been so much fun. They're good fun. I mean, I don't know how long I would actually play the app for. Um, I mean, the apps, I think it's great for children and yeah. even for teens, to be honest. And like, I imagine if you had a few mates over and you're like, let's see who can get the best score. It's a bit yeah. of a board game kind of thing. It has a bit of Mario Party vibes a little bit. But um, yeah, I don't know how much I'll play it in the future, to be honest. But um, it'll make great display pieces anyway. Some people so. are still after minifigures, though. So DL Bricker. It really wants Lego Super Mario minifigures. I mean, don't get me wrong. If my, if minifigures come out, you'd be getting them. Wouldn't yeah. You? Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. But I I just understand why they've gone down this path. Yeah. Uh, especially for Mario, I think minifigures to me is more Nintendo. If they're doing Nintendo, so you're going to get Fox, Metroid, Sam, what well, Samus is Metroid. Uh, you're going to get you know your Link characters, Zelda. Uh, then I can see it. But I think it's Mario because the enemies and stuff are so weird the weird and wonderful i think it just makes sense to have them in this kind yeah. of in this kind of range oh, we're making weird little toads and and stuff in this so dl brick has asked chris what do you think of the price per piece for these sets so do you talk about that in your room um, yeah you so the price per piece so this is really sad that i know it off by heart what is that for i'm wondering if that's supposed to go on her hat you know Ooh, just pulled the head off there was a piece underneath that I didn't use on this character, and I think that's where it goes. No. Just dissecting uh... it. <laughs> Toad out a second, sorry. Oh dear. There we go. Okay. So, um, yeah, price for piece, actually. Interestingly, so the starter pack is 21.9p in the UK per, mm. per piece, which obviously you usually get around nine uh, piece, what is it, price per piece, 9p. Um, but obviously with this you're getting the starter pack you get obviously Mario uh, you also get uh, you know uh, Bowser Jr which is pretty good and there's a lot of big pieces like this piece here this lava piece that's a single piece and if you think yeah. of base plates I mean we spend we spend a fortune on base plates stuff. Oh, gosh, the yeah. bigger the pieces they are more expensive yeah. so I think it is yeah. kind of inflated in that sense but Bowser's castle is only nine pence per piece so Bowser's castle itself is actually right yeah. Um, so I think the starter kit is obviously a lot of the technology within, yeah, within Mario, Mario. That's, oh, I back, see. Yeah. So that's the sort of thing that's... Yeah. Uh, Lorraine says she loves the hats. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, so C Rick says, did the blind the blind bands count as a minifig Friday? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is the answer to that. Um yeah, so I don't know if you guys have seen and if you get a chance and you haven't already, go and uh, do the uh, worst of first, but I've started doing hauls where I do a haul of all the minifigs and then I have a, um, what's it called, survey, survey monkey, monkey. Uh, sheet where you guys can vote. And yeah. it's no longer my worst of first, it's everyone's worst of yeah. first. And I've been going through and calculating, I'm going to do that video on Thursday, going through the results, which was series four this week. So if you want to go and check that out, go and check that out and have your say. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to do the same, I don't know if you guys agree or not, to do it on the, on the Mario ones as well. So you can get all the Mario blind bags, 10 of them. I'll show you each of them. And then we all vote which ones are our favorite. And I think that could be quite a cool, cool couple of videos there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, um, right, so I think we're on to bag three yeah. now. Oh, I, I was doing bag three, wasn't yeah. I? And then... So Bricks and Runners have said that um, they thought the Mario figure was going to be huge. Yes, I did as well. I thought it was going to be way bigger than it was. I think it's kind of bad marketing on that point because it's, I, know, I understand it's for kids, but the kids' hands are like tiny. So obviously on my hand, and I've yeah. got small hands, guys. Yeah. I don't have massive hands. So... Uh, yeah, they're not actually that big. I would yeah. say it was, he's basically, his, I haven't got a big fig. I've only got the Rancor to compare to, which most people haven't seen the Rancor anyway. <laughs> um, so, like, I don't know, there's a Dilophosaurus here, but 
but he is not that big. He's yeah. he's really not when you compare him to other things in Lego. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And I I definitely think sort of like like you say, bricks and runners. Like seeing Toad and Toadette with Mario, they look fantastic. Like they've really managed to get the characterization. Well, uh, I think this the, is a similar um, thing for like these guys. Remind me, they've even got the same bodies as the Minions characters that came yeah. out recently. So. If they can do it for the minions, I don't see why they can't do yeah. it for um, for Mario, to be honest. Yeah. And I think there's a few people who um, uh, are so excited by Mario that there's uh, other series that they'd love to see in the future. So Octane. Oh, Zelda. I'd love to um, see Zelda. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, Christopher Murray said that he'd love to see Sonic. I have to say, I grew up with the Sega Mega Drive. I grew up with the Sega um, Mega Drive. You grew up with all games. I had both of them, to be honest. But you know, I was you an only just... child, and it was just an obsession. Um, and when you've got friends with other sets, uh, yeah. other consoles and things, it helps, doesn't it? So definitely good things. Oh, um, There we go. So we've got our first little weird rotating thing. OK. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, oh first toad a house here. So. Do you want to build toad the toad house? Um, yeah. So that's bag four, and then yeah. I can move. I'm going to move these over to one side, guys. Uh, just so you can, maybe can you, you can see them there, can't you? And then um, you can. You'll need my phone as well for doing the uh, instructions. Yeah. And then you've got over here. You need yeah. a lot of phones for this because you've got a phone for filming, a phone for doing the instructions. Um, I won't be able to click up people's. Uh, let's see, I don't know if it'll work on this, but we'll have, we'll have a go. Is that, in, that is in the... Uh... So let's see what people have been saying. The thing I don't like about it is you have to start a pack to, for the others to be worth it. Yeah, you yeah. do, but I, I really don't think of another way they can do it. And I don't know if you guys have seen, but America anyway, if you get the start pack in the first week, you get so much free stuff. You get a free poly yeah. bag and the Monty Mole set. So that's, that's amazing. Um, C-Rex has said, have you heard the new Nintendo rumours? No, I haven't. Please divulge if there's any new ones. Uh, someone said, you're almost at 1K subscribers, Chris. Yes, I am. Thank you very much for mm -hmm. everyone who's voted. That's actually voted. You Subscribe. Subscribed. Thank you very much. That's really, really, like I said, it's, it's amazing, to be honest. Uh, Generic Stud, hey, mate, how's it going? Man, I'd absolutely love the Smash Bros. CMF. Licensing would be a nightmare. Yeah, I think that's what everyone really wants. I think that's all. If they did a blind bags, which was <laughs> Mario Smash Bros., you know, yeah, I just think they've got they've had Sonic in the past. They would have to work with Namco for things like uh, Pac Man. Um, Street Free Street Fire would have to be Capcom. There's a lot of things that have to do there. Um, unknown remaining collector said Mario is so popular. I think it, it will be going for at least. I do too. I really do think it's going to be going for a long time. Definitely. Yeah. And there's like, so much scope, isn't there? There's so much yeah. scope for other sets yeah. and things. And Bricks and Runner said that would be insane. Yeah, so guys, okay, this would be a pretty cool thing too. I'm going to get the Bowser's castle just to yeah. show you some of the stuff on that. But whilst I do that, how about you guys say, what would your top three characters be if you if they did a, um, a CMF Smash Bros? That would be Ooh. awesome. Um, mine would be Luigi, actually. Or well, Wild Luigi, that would be cool as well. Although Wild Luigi is not technically in Smash, but... <laughs> I think a Metroid Prime would be cool, like Samus with her actual mech gear on. That would be awesome. So. <laughs> Brick Clicker says that um, when Mario was revealed, lots of people said he's a bit on the chunky side. Oh, he's very chunky. Um, Lego would put him on a diet before hitting the shelves. <laughs> yeah, he's very square. Um, but I get it because it's ergonomic for the hands because you a lot yeah. of the time you got to like hold him by the head and stuff. So, um I won't do the entire Bowser's castle because there's loads of side bits as well. But I don't know if you guys, so I think someone asked if they could see Bowser. So there's Bowser and he's really, really cool. And in comparison to the Mario size, he's pretty okay, actually. He's not too bad. Some people say he's a bit on the small side, but as a diehard Nintendo fan, you actually find out that Bowser changes his size in pretty much every single game, depending on um, what they decide. Because in, even in uh, Mario World, he was massive in that flying balloon thing. And then he gets huge in some of them. Giga Bowser and all that kind of stuff. But he's pretty cool. He can't move his legs, but he can move his arms. They do move on ball joints, and he can move his little tail as well. And then his shell's actually brick built, but it's got a new kind of shell piece, which is quite nice. Um, and then this is all printed. So he's got printed mouth inside, printed nose, and printed eyes. So um, pretty cool. But I'll show you the fun features of this bit, which is the most unique bit for this. So I will start the, um, I'll use the start and end just to put them randomly, and we'll get Mario out. 
this is going to be on the uh, on the on the, the video, but does it really matter? I suppose. So, so you start the timer, and basically, there's two things here you have to hit. So you hit this up like so. If I can do it on the stream, but that basically you hit that up, and you hit this one up here like that, and it basically pulls the bridge forward. So then the um, Bowser can actually move. So when he goes in that, it has Bowser battle music, and you move him like this, and it moves Bowser down the track until he gets to the bottom, and then he should fall over if you put his arms right, but I put his arms up, so he's now not going to move it, fall over. And then um, you then just hit him. And you have to hit him a load of times. And that is basically the main features of, of this set. And uh, I don't know what I got for killing him, but there we go. 38 points, so he's worth quite a few points. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the uh, Bowser's Castle main part of it, the main battle bit. Um, you also get Dry Bones in it as well. I don't know if you guys saw Dry Bones yesterday. He's a really cool figure. Yeah, uh, one, of my, one of my favourites, really Dry Bones. Cool. And you also get Boo, who's exclusive as well. And he has a pretty cool play feature on here where he actually spins at a different pace to the... Uh, the um the bit that Mario goes on to if Mario obviously if he's behind him he'd slowly be catching up to Mario just like in the games which I think is really really cool and really fun so but that is the um the Bowser boss battle really cool set like I said but for the price for playability um it's very expensive for playability reasons but for a display it just looks it looks awesome I mean it goes perfectly next to my uh, slave one wouldn't you say <laughs> I, think, I think they look perfect. Next yeah, to each brilliant. Other. Oh, is this the. Uh, the I think little, this is one of the. I think it's the smallest pieces, mushroom yeah. house, I think. It's number one. So. I've got the one block. So, yeah, so what people have been saying about it since we've gone up. So. So. Super. Slego Super Shane said, How did you get the app? That's what I panicked about when I first got home and was like, Where do I get the app? I tried searching for it, you couldn't find it, but it's actually in the. Um, I don't have it here. Uh, you have to scan a QR code inside the box um, with the instructions, but I don't know where the instructions are. You basically scan that and it then finds the app. I think the app will just become readily available when uh, it launches yeah. officially, but that's how you can get hold of it using that QR code. It does take you to the official app store. So it is there. I think Apple have just chosen to hide it. Yeah. I know Apple and Nintendo are in very good speaking terms because Mario is exclusive to iPhone and stuff like that. You know, Mario Jump. So I think oh, yeah. um, that would be one of the reasons. Uh, where am I on? I've lost the chat. Sorry. So, whoa. Woo streams. What is I? You it's guys brilliant. have been. I know. People have said that they enjoy us streaming on our own. Thank you. I do too. Um, we've yeah. been saying this. I've Steph's been, been missing out. Yeah, yeah. So I think we've already said these ones, haven't we? Sorry, I'm like rubbish with the... Uh... It's because we switch over. Yeah. Right? Oh, there we go. There it was. So Sean said, I just want a Donkey Kong Big Fig. Yeah, that would be awesome to get a Donkey Kong Big Fig. And I think Big Figs would be great if they did a Mario Kart, because I think it would have to be Mini Fig scale. I don't know how they would do King Boo on it in a Mario Kart. That's for another thing. <laughs> um, people have said... Would love Luigi. I'm hoping for the next rate. Yes, I think it'd be awesome. I would yeah. love to have a suit which is Luigi with his um with his vacuum cleaner from Lego uh, from uh, Luigi's Mansion. That would be awesome. So, Jessica said Richter, Zelda, Joker, Blyeth. I don't know who Byleth is. Not Kirby. Kirby would have to be Square. I think the way that they've done a uh, boo, which would be quite funny. People have said Zelda, then Link, then Ganondorf. So basically, I think Octane just wants. Uh, Lego Zelda, which is kind of obvious now if you look at his uh, his profile picture, <laughs> seeing as yes. he has Zelda yeah. and Link as his thing. People say Bowser looks cool. Yeah, Bowser's awesome. Um, if a Zelda set would be made, which game would it be based on? Mario is Mario in all games, but every Zelda game is different from each other. Yeah, I agree. Um, Mario is not always the same, though. We do have Mario Galaxies, Mario Odyssey. I think this is more based off of like Bowser's Battle, I think is more based off of the original Super Mario. Um, but yeah, they have got obviously the cat suit and everything, and Mario can kind of go through different ones. So it would be interesting. Um, I would prefer like the N sixty four, like a uh, either Twilight Princess or Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask, and like that would be awesome. So Rowan has said Yoshi, Toad, and Link from Zelda. Well, we've already got Yoshi and Toad technically, so you don't need them as figures. But I haven't got Yoshi yet, sadly. Yeah. Lu Luigi, Wow, Luigi, and Mega Man. Mega Man would be great. I don't know if they could get the licensing to that there. Can I have another one? 
Uh, yeah, it's just that. Over here. They're in order. There, you go. there we go. So, all right, so rumor time. If the Mario sets sell well, which they will, they will make different Nintendo. Yeah. So, this is something that I said on the stream the other day. Um, and I know you put not confirmed, just a rumor. This is something that I was trying to say to people, and they weren't really getting it. But, I'm going to back first. Sorry. But basically, if you look at all of the packaging for this, it's not Nintendo. It's very, very clearly Super Mario. Nintendo is actually one of the tiniest things I've ever seen on their boxes down at the bottom, just saying it's a, a licensed Nintendo product. And these are very much aimed at being Mario. And it's the same with the NES that's come out. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, it's, it's, it's Nintendo. If you actually look, the graphics for it are all the old NES stuff, and then it's still very much Mario. So it's to celebrate 20 years of Mario. So I think that if this does well, then they might do other licenses. But if you imagine, Lego has so many licenses that, uh, sorry, not Lego, Nintendo has so many licenses that it could, they have more licenses than Lego have current themes. So I don't think Lego want to have, want to have all the Nintendo themes out there. It just wouldn't be feasible mm. for them. Sadly, I think I know we all want it. Um, but yeah, so people saying they love Zelda. Yeah, Zelda's just absolutely awesome. I think I'm quite behind on the chat now. Don't know how reliable the source is. Wow. Oh, it has 90 followers. Yeah, that might be a, a great thought, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, I think it's interesting in and of itself, to be honest. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think people are, are more hoping for it, like I said. I, I, I kind of agree. And I think, to be honest, it would be stupid if they didn't sell. If they didn't sell well, they're, they're going to make more. You know, That's just the way it's going to go. It's just the way it always is. So there's someone new. Hey, Joshua McBurney, how's it going, mate? Oh, yeah. Brick built. When's the next city update? Everyone always asks me this. It's always on a Friday. <laughs> it's about the only one that you don't move around Yeah, so much, it's, it's on it? a Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does everyone think Luigi will be introduced to this range? I would love to see Luigi introduced. And it I think he'll be... It might, next, he might have to be slightly wave, bigger maybe. than this, though. Because yeah, you know, he would have to be, a bit be bigger. Taller. But um, whether they will or not, I don't know. I think uh, they will. That's my guess. Splatoon theme set would be very interesting. Oh, wow, yeah, Splatoon is awesome. Do you remember Splatoon? That's all with the squids where you paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah you paint you stuff. Yeah, clear it down and stuff. And then people are saying, yes, we need Splatoon. Yes, yeah, Splatoon would be awesome, actually. And actually, Splatoon would, the characters look very similar to this, like tent, they could do the, the, the girl tentacles and stuff. I just don't know good. how the, um, I know if they do Splatoon, it'll probably be bloody yeah, right. friend sets if they did Splatoon, probably. But it's also how would the, the gameplay mini work? dolls. I'm not sure. We're painting that. it, you mean? Yeah. Well, they could do it maybe like um, very similar to Hidden Side, where it'd be augmented reality. So you've ah. got a playing field and then you're painting it maybe in the yeah. app as augmented. That could be quite cool, couldn't it? But yeah. So I think I'm caught up now on the chat, which mm. is good. Sorry for being a bit slow on the chat. I'm not the best on it. Um, but yeah, I we've got at the moment, we've got the starter pack, we've got Bowser's Castle, this one. Uh, Pokey, Desert Pokey, and then two of the, um, the little packs as well to try them out. So, yeah. So, we've got some new ones. I'd love to see a Lego character in Smash. It could be like Pokemon Trainer and change different characters. Yeah, I wonder if they'll do a Lego Man, like a minifig. That would be pretty cool if they do that like, as an update because of the partnership. Or even if they introduce like a Lego Mario skin for the Mario character. Or they'd have tiny arms, wouldn't they? But could be quite yeah. funny. They do have different versions of Mario because you have Doctor Mario and things, so they could they could do that. That could be pretty cool. Uh, and Bricklick is in. Hey mate, how's it going? I'm building Pigsy's food truck whilst watching this. I'm hooked on Monkey Kid now. Yeah, it's it's a cool set. I mean, I've got the uh, I think Pigsy's in a drawer in here at the moment just because I've been trying to organise things. But yeah, Pigsy is absolutely great, and uh, I love the Monkey Kid sets. Not, I need to get more of them. I've only got the mech at the moment, but. Yeah. Just everything's out, and I think that's what people are finding with the Mario sets. Like they're great, but they're probably not people's top choice. I think the, the Star Wars stuff is, and even for America, maybe even the Harry Potter, because they still haven't got a lot of those sets. Yeah, yeah. So um, there's so much stuff coming out in August. It's crazy. So Rogue said, "I only see Lego making Nintendo sets based on new Nintendo games, similar to on how they make sets for their own licensed things like Star Wars. Potentially, yeah. I mean." Would that mean that we may get Paper Mario at some point? Uh, I don't think that game's done too well recently, but we never know. Um, someone said, which modular do you think is the best? I only have four of them, but I would still say out of the four that I have, I think Assembly Square is definitely my favourite. I don't know, what's, what's your favourite? Probably Assembly Square. I think Assembly Square, got. Yeah. yeah. It's got so much yeah. detail, so many different like scenes and 
<laughs> it could be a me fighter skin. Yeah, they've got these ones, haven't they? With like the boxer and things. That'd be quite funny. Um, Teaser's Life. Hey, how's it going? What time do you think you'll finish the stream tonight? Um, probably done half an hour. Um, either seven or eight UK time. Probably more seven because yeah. uh, we got work tomorrow. But work I want to try and build all of these if we can. So it depends how long this one takes to build, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, Lorraine says, hey, BrickClicker. Everyone's saying hey to each other. Octane. Personally, I think the 2020 lineup is the best year possibly ever. Sorry. I, I, I agree. I think it's an absolutely phenomenal at the moment. The only problem is it's probably too many sets because I can't buy them all. I would love to have had the opportunity to have a week, uh, month where it's not been too much so I could get the uh, Andy Warhol art pop or the, the Vader art pop, but yeah, like, yeah, it's crazy at the moment. So Necro Dancer sets would make a lot of sense using something like the Lego Mario system. Oh yeah, like the dancing game, that could be pretty cool. And they did a Zelda version of that actually, didn't they? The, um, I, I played that, the Hyrule one, that was pretty cool. So yeah, so I think we built the first little mushroom house. Did it show you how to play this or not? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. So, so basically, what's unique in this set is it has these little boxes. Which, if you hit this, it has these, and they're numbered. So this is the first box, and it has a unique barcode on. And basically, you hide these around the level, and then you have to collect all three to gain like a lot of coins. And I think these are only in this set. But um, this is the smallest mushroom house. It's only a facade, so it's only at the front, and then the, everything else is quite quite bland on it but it looks kind of cool um and i think you can put like toad or toadette at the front of it so that's supposed to be like greeting you maybe um but yeah all in all pretty cool so i'll put that over this side over here actually i'll probably put it on the background of uh, the video that we've got it's now we've moved bowser out of the way it's not quite in the background but but yeah pretty cool so <laughs> sean sure said i actually really like lego mario now yeah, I think it's one of those things that might grow on you. And and mm -hmm. sadly for um sadly for um for Lego at the moment is the fact that um yeah, I know it's not on, I just realized. <laughs> sadly for um for Lego at the moment, because people can't go into the stores, I think that was one of the things with Hidden Side they would show you. And I think yeah. they probably would have shown people how this was done and stuff, but they can't do that now. So I think some people might not even get to see it in shops until it's too late, sort of thing. So I'm hoping it won't have a knock on effect for it. Mm -hmm. But um but yeah. Did you want to put it on? Oh, so Ateez is streaming as well. Oh, so what time are you streaming, Ateez? Let us know. Um, and we'll definitely tell people at the end of the stream. Um, um, so, Seabrick said, if we have a GWP Mario set, what does that mean? The GWP Mario sets, or buy the Mario starter set. If we have the GWP Mario sets. Don't know what that one is, sorry. <clears throat> Do you know what GWP is? No, let us know what that what is what they mean by that, mate. Sorry, uh, Chris has got to head off. No worries. Thank you for for coming in. Uh, enjoy all the Lego, the Mario and Lego godness. Thanks, mate, for watching. It's awesome for you popping by. Um, oh, okay, so uh, DL's called Daniel. I have to try and remember that. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of people that I see chatting, so I'll try and remember that. Uh, uh, people said bye to Chris. Oh my God, seven. That's awesome, and definitely won't be going out. This is exciting. Then going to my parents. Ooh. Cool, 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 cool. So, hi, sorry, I'm late, just woke up. Toad huts look really good, in my opinion. Hi, Wax Bricks, thanks for joining. Yeah, I think they're pretty cool, actually. Yeah. This is a set I wasn't the most keen on. It's probably my, one of my least favorites, but seeing as it's one of the only ones we could pick up, I was definitely going to get all of them anyway. So, um, I actually think it's giving it a little bit of time, actually, for me to like it a bit more as yeah. well. Um, they should hire you as a product promoter. Hey, if Lan want to get involved, uh, <laughs> I don't think they, I think I'm a way too small a channel for that. Um, but yeah, ah, there we go, gift with purchase. So yes, I agree. I'm going to be going to Lego on the Monday, the Saturday morning anyway. Uh, the Monty Mall though, um, I think it's going to be in very short supply. I have got one on order anyway, because I pre-ordered this when it first came out. So I have ordered another Mario just to get the Monty Mall. So I just have to see how that how that pays off. Um, well, actually, we said this set comes with the cloud piece in green. Yes, it does, which is the Unikitty piece, and it's exclusive at the moment to this, but I might have to get a couple of those and bricks and pieces when they're available. People saying hi to each other. It will be a gaming stream, so either seven till nine or 10 till 12. Oh, we definitely won't be going on till 10 till 12. No. <laughs> probably seven till eight at the latest, but it probably won't be eight, it'll probably more like quarter past seven, I would have thought, because 
Yeah, because we started at quarter past four. We're not yeah. going to do any more than three hours. No, no nowhere yeah. near. I need to be up in the morning for work. Ray says, also be right back. I may or not, I've just broken my leg of satin five again. Oh, no. no. Mate, why are you doing that? Um, hi, everyone saying hi to each other. Jester says, no. <laughs> And then unknown oh, no, Lego Mr. Beast. Yeah, I wish. He's like a millionaire, I think. Yeah, so like Sean's Lego Channel says these sets are a bit overpriced. Yeah, I think some of them are, some of them aren't. So this is a weird one because Desert Pokey is only $17.99, which I think is a great price. But then yeah. you've got some like the um, Bill's Barrage, which is like, I think it's 25 or 35 and it's got less pieces, which is really crazy. But I'm guessing yeah. it's the big pieces that, that make up for it. So yeah. Um, I don't know so, if yeah. they'll end up being discounted or something at some point Maybe. in time. And Sean says he's never played Lego. Uh, it's never played Mario. Wow. Oh it's my. like my most played game of all time. <gasps> I have completed Super Mario World too many times. Every single uh, secret, all the endings. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. And he's sorting Lego right now. Yeah. I often do that on the stream sometimes. I've got little boxes here. But I'm not very good at sorting Lego. No. I get bored very, very easily of sorting it. So, um, and then so, you yeah. just leave bags around. The and then as he said, lol, KK. Yeah, we won't be going on that long. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, and Bricklin is just doing now. The Clicker Instead podcast 15 is out tonight at 7.15. So that's Ooh. perfect time to sit back and listen to that. My beautiful voice again on someone else's channel. And Bri Bricklicker's puns. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, um, me, Generic Stud, and Bricklicker do a Clicker and Stud podcast on over on Bricklicker's channel every Sunday where we talk about all the news that's happening in the week. So if you guys fancy watching that, I think this week's one is a staggering two hours long, a bit too long, I think, but we went a little bit too much on the advent calendars, I think, this week. But if you guys get to watch it, it'd be absolutely awesome. And uh, yeah, don't forget to head over to that channel if you want to watch that or, or listen. Don't really need to watch it, really. Mm -hmm. Uh, CB Bricks has said, hopefully we will get the calendar for promos by Wednesday. Yeah. And the train promo ends on Friday. Yeah, because it's in store, isn't it? Which is a bit annoying to get the train. I got a couple of them before when they were available for purchase online. Rise the Bricks is in. Hey, mate, how's it going? Hola. Uh, it's a bit of a long podcast. Yeah, it is a little bit more long this week. Um, but it doesn't got, matter. Have you got three? Guest. Yes, yes, we do. That's very interesting. We do have Rogue Runner on, who's just broken a set of five. He is our guest on the podcast. Thank you for reminding me on that. I always think he's on so many of them. He's <laughs> sort of a close friend, doesn't really. I don't think of him as a special guest. He's just special. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. I love how you waited until he's gone to say that. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's really good. He's a great, he's really knowledgeable on Disney and Star Wars. That's why we wanted him on because of the August 1st sets. So, um, so yeah. Rickland said it took me about three hours to upload it today with my Wi-Fi. Yeah, mate, it took me about three hours to edit it. It was a monster to render that thing. Um, so people are saying the Bowser set doesn't have many course things. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's more of a display piece than a than a course builder, really, I would say. But it's if you've got all of them, play. it's an absolutely awesome boss battle like yeah. set. It's good fun to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think I heard someone saying this comes with the cheap cheap. Yeah. Yes, it does. It comes with two cheap cheaps in this set. Um which are, if people don't know, it's the flying fish, which are, let's see if I can find them on the box. There they are. They, like they are right. I can't really see because the box is in the way of the uh, thing, but I think you can see them there, the cheap cheeps. Yeah. Um, I can't see the screen and the uh, box because it's so big. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. So, <laughs> Rogue did hear it anyway, so he heard that. <laughs> Nothing wrong, mate. You, you know, it's only a, only a joke ish uh, and he says thanks for the shout out of course mate if anyone hasn't gone to rogue on his channel to go and check him out he's only got wait well, only he's a really recent channel and he's already got over 100 subscribers things on 124 125 last yeah. i saw so he does really good content on everything disney and star wars so if you're into any of that go and check him out he's an absolutely awesome little channel same with uh, a lot of the guys in the chat actually yeah. uh, loads of these guys out at the moment um uh, doing awesome stuff on the channels and lots of live streams going on. Sean's Lego channel is up right now is one of them. So go and check out his channel. I know he hasn't done a video in a while though, but he did say he was going to change that earlier on uh, on his Instagram. So Sean said the King Boo set and this road set are my favourites. The way, yeah, I do like the uh, the King Boo set. Uh, it looks cool. Again, I don't think that one has much playability, but the King Boo is awesome. Mm -hmm. I think he's got a unique playability with being a boss battle as well. Uh, oh, he says Toad set. Yeah, I knew what you meant. Toad's a uh, <laughs> It's kind of a road set. Anyway, there's a lot of roads in it. Um, how are you getting on with the builds? I'm getting there. I'm building out a 
Yeah, this one's a lot bigger than... I think they get bigger and bigger. Is that the... Which it colour is that one? Be. That one's red. It might be the middle one. No, it is. It's the No, it's the biggest one. Yeah. The purple one's actually the smallest, which is actually smaller than the yellow one. I think it's just the door bit that's a bit different, though, to make them all different sizes. So, yeah. So, CB Bricks has said, as soon as August 1st happens, I'm on full YouTube mode. Yeah, that was exactly the same. Again, CB Bricks, another great YouTube channel. Go and check them out, guys, if you haven't done that already. But, yeah, that's exactly what I was like. And getting some of these sets early gave me the opportunity to kind of, uh, you know, um, pad it out a little bit in terms of um, – having a few of these sets ready now so that I haven't got to do, you know, content, 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 content when it comes to August 1st. But, I mean, how many sets have we got? Five or six of them? Six. Uh, there's still, I mean, like, when we say sets, that's including yeah. the power-up packs, which these are... These aren't really small. considered a set. No, not at all. But, um, but yes, yeah, so there's still quite a few LEGO sets, that Mario sets that we still need to get. And, obviously, there's the Star Wars ones coming out as well. So, um, so that's absolutely awesome. So, uh, so yeah. T says, my mum scared me for some reason. Don't know why. Oh. Uh, but yeah, lol, I'll say I'll do it more often, but I'll just be like, I'll do a vid tomorrow or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lewis, hey, mate, how's it going? Hey, you into Lego Star Wars? I am into Lego Star Wars. There is my slave one. I've got Jabba's Palace over in the corner here. The UCS Falcon downstairs. I am a big fan of the OG Star Wars, but there are some cool little Clone Wars sets this time coming around that I might pick up. Definitely will be getting a couple of those battle packs. Um, but I'm concentrating on the Mario stuff first, I think. I don't think I'll be getting many August 1st. No, we, uh, we cannot afford to buy everything. Very, <laughs> very costing true. us a fortune. <laughs> so these Mario sets will be the sets to peak you to 1,000. Been here since 50. Ooh. Very cool. Thank you very much for being here till 50. And I, weirdly, sometimes the emojis don't work. So I'm guessing they're emojis, but uh, they don't work <laughs> in screen, stream yards for some reason. And my expert said, the toad huts look great. The colour contrasts really well. I wish they mm. had a couple more spots, though. Yeah. yeah. They, they're missing the spots. And yeah. I think it's the same with the agree. little ones. So they've done these little toad stools here. And it would have been nice if they had little white spots as unique prints on those. Um, but I suppose everything's printed in the set, so maybe they had to do some uh, some things there. But I think they could have done it by adding, um, like, a, a tile piece on, you yeah. know, the dots. It's, they could have it's easily a real done shame, because I think it would have looked Yeah, really I do, good. too. I, I really do agree with that. Um, where was I? On Tuesday, I'm waking up at like 6 a.m. That's, that's, that's every day for us. We wake up at like 10 to 10 mm. to 6. Yeah. Yeah, my alarm's normally set for 5.45. You ever been to Legoland in Windsor? No, we haven't. It's, I have. You, you have. have. I have I haven't since I was about mm, 10, 12. Yeah, I know. definitely need to go again. Well, I need Maybe. to go. We were on about going this year before yeah. um, because we wanted to go to Billings as well. We were going to go there yeah. this year too but we just haven't got round to going at the moment. So Jessica said, I've just discovered interpolation keyframes whilst editing. I think I'm in love. What is interpolation keyframes? Is that the one where you it instantly pushes it together? I'm not quite sure what that one is. I just know them by the little symbols. <laughs> and I think you were a bit in awe and amazement earlier when I was editing and you came up how, uh, how I do things. Um, I remember getting the Mandalorian Battle Pack a while ago. Yeah, I've got the I've got that set. I just never viewed it on the channel. Well, was, you got it before you started the channel. Yeah, I got all the Lego stuff. Well, I got quite a big chunk. I got Obon's Hut. I did buy that Luke's Land Speeder for some reason. Um, I got the Mandalorian Battle Pack. I think that's it. I think that's also got the wave. Oh, and I've, I got a uh, Kylo Ren Shuttle as well. And the uh, Sith Tide Egg was the one I did recently on the channel. So, yeah. Lego could have used the hot air balloon piece to make the Toad House in 3D. Yeah, they could have. The ones from the Troll set. Mm, that, uh, would that would have been quite interesting. And they could have printed them as well. Yeah. Um, anyway, he's got to go for T. No worries, mate. Thanks for popping by. See you soon. Thank you very much. Uh, T says, K-pop stuff, lol. That's why I'm waking up at six. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, uh, My recent videos have been poo emoji. Those ones have worked. So I know what they are. <laughs> uh, um, and then... Jessica says, you can change the time velocity between keyframes. Ah, yes. Very, very cool. Um, I do easy in, easy out for a lot of the transitions that I use. I don't know if that's the same thing. I think it is. Um, I think they're called ease, ease in, ease out, uh, which is if you're panning something in, especially with your animations, mate, it'd be awesome if you could, like, you know, I mean, your, your animations are absolutely great. So Video editing geekiness. But yeah, he's on about, I think that's what he's on about. Uh, in After Effects, if you have that, I don't know whether you do, you can actually go into the graph and you can change it on the graph to make it either go faster and then smaller or have an, it's really cool, really complicated though, and I am not that good at it. 
Um, I think it would take, I think the animation I did for our company logo took me about a week to do. Um, yeah. Whereas it's probably taking a, an animator an hour probably. Um, Rogue One is currently building the Legend and Jaga Golden Dragon. Yes, we've got that set as well. In fact, you oh, told me to buy one? it. That's the one downstairs, um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that was £10 on Amazon. I think it still is £10 on Amazon at the moment. So I think Rogue was finding a couple of little builds. to Actually, that's an interesting topic for discussion on the uh, chat. Um, Rogue was asking what little sets to get, because he, you know, just to sit, have a little few sets to build whilst he's a... Uh, a bit bored at the moment. So well, I think, he's waiting for the Disney set. Yeah, so I think he bought the um, the Road Sweeper, the Lego Road Sweeper. Um, he bought that Golden Dragon. I can't it's, remember what else he bought. It's the little um, Safari. It's Jeez. sold out everywhere, I think. No. I think it's sold out at the moment. That's a shame. That's Brickley says, boo, not Ninja. <laughs> uh, Teresa says, yeah, I'm looking for Vegas plugin to let me use those graphs, or I could just try to learn them in After Effects. Yeah, if you um, if you want to chat about those, that's this again on the Geeky Animation Talk. Uh, if you've got After Effects, I can give you a quick quick tutorial that I know about. Um, I'm not too great on them myself, mate. But if you want, uh, I can definitely show you how, what I know on them. Uh, Lewis said, "Have you got the Lego Friends Central Perk set?" Yes, we do have the Lego yeah. Friends. In fact, we've got it's an old video. We've got an old video reviewing that set. Actually, if you look through the older uh, videos, they're not as good quality as what we are now, but they're okay. And I'm not saying. The quality I've got now is any good, but um, it get, I think they got better and better mm. over the five months. Hadn't even realised today, actually, that we looked at my channel, and it's, again, just amazing, guys. But August 1st, well, it'll be August 5th, will be the fifth month of, of YouTube You're that I've been on. Month, so it'll be my yeah. five months. And it's just amazing how many people we've got in the community we've made within five months. It's mm. absolutely crazy. I feel like I've been doing this forever because I've probably been doing yeah. it constantly for six months. Yeah. But um, it's just amazing that, uh, that, yeah, we have this awesome community. And that's this is the reason I do the videos. Yeah, I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. So she wants to Ninjago sets are terrible, but I love the Ninjago movie. Yeah, Ninjago movie sets are absolutely awesome. Rogue Runner, uh, Jessica said that, that one's a beauty. I'm going <laughs> to open another bag, okay? Yeah, go on, open it. There we go. So Lorraine Fox has said, I think that's Sarah Connor's um, wife, isn't it? Yeah. Hi, Lorraine. How's it going? Uh, she said, our son got Woo's Battle Dragon set. That's the one that Generic Studs got as well. That's uh, awesome. I want to get that set. Um, that's why I got the Golden Dragon one, because it was half the price of it. So uh, yeah, I want to a little dragon. Um, I've got the um, this one, the uh, Journey to Skull Dungeon, I think it's called. Uh, Jerry's going to tell me what, if I'm right or not, because we're going to play the game at some point, and this is an awesome little set. He's got the awesome Skull, uh, the Skull uh, Dungeon one that looks absolutely incredible. Um, but yeah, Brickley said I ordered the Street Sweeper. Yeah, it's an awesome little build for that one, yeah, the Street Sweeper, and it's been on offer recently as well. I was tempted to buy another one. I've got lots of roads in the city that might need sweeping. Uh, Brick Valor, how's it going, mate? What set would you recommend to start a Lego City? Oof. I say this to everybody, but it's a very expensive set, is Assembly Square. Um, it's a great set. It's it's basically a mini city in and of itself. But if you can't afford like that, because it is a pricey set. Um, I really like the donut one recently. That's the donut shop was good. That's got quite a few little Sometimes buildings. Sometimes goes on good offers as well, the donut Yeah, shop. I like the donut shop. The tuning garage one, I was quite surprised at how good that was as a little build. Yeah. Uh, that's quite a good one too. So they're a little bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, if you can afford a modular building, the Assembly Square one is a great one to start with, I would say. Wet Bricks, Destiny Bounty is super cool, the movie one. I have the Central Perk set as well, it's really good. Yeah, I didn't get that. Uh, that's, that um, Destiny's Bounty is awesome. Wait, Absolutely wait, awesome. That. That's alright, I don't mind you going on at the moment. Um, Lorraine says it's a fab set. Oh, sorry, Jared said, Lorraine, it's a fab set. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, it knows that his vids are really good. Bricking it knows that his vids are really good. Um, <laughs> I, well, I try hard on them, to be honest. Um, so yeah, yeah. I've, I have upgraded the quality because I've spent more time. It's just the, the time factor, I think. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, so behind the scenes, it, it takes Chris me, is always like looking at what he's doing. He's looking I at like, new trends. I hadn't, had a, at, I hadn't had a weekend yeah. in six months, probably. So, so, uh, he's, so yeah. he's always looking at how he can make them better, how he can make them more engaging and everything. So, so Lorraine said he's really into Ninjago sets. He gets one every week. Yeah. I, I, yeah. To be honest, since these ones, these and I started watching the series because uh, it's because Jarek did recommend to me. I actually think it is pr pretty good. Um, <laughs> and then a teaser says, like dad, lol. <laughs> yeah, that's a very Lego family. I think I'm getting yeah. you into it a little bit more than, than normal yeah. as well, aren't I? 
So Liz, Liz says, do you have a monthly budget for Lego? <laughs> I do, but always go over it. <laughs> yeah, we haven't set a budget yet. We probably should. I think that's the problem. Uh, but yes, but we have, We, I mean, we've been spending a lot on Lego recently. We will have to die down at some point, but um, there's just so much good sets out at the moment. I can't help myself. We probably should look at a budget. We did try to look more into it as a whole now because we are getting up to the 1,000 subscribers and stuff. So just to see how we can make it manageable and balance work life and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I think we do need to set a budget. What Out of interest, what's your budget, Lewis? Mm -hmm. Maybe that might determine what my budget should be. Um, Brickland says, has your second assembly square arrived yet? Mine's coming tomorrow. I think ours is coming tomorrow as well. Because I, I got a notification. Uh, I know it's been things. dispatched. Yeah. I don't know when. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that, that shows how much I like it. It's I've ordered another one. Um, Lane said, actually, I said, yes, it's awesome. He wanted the one you had the other night on the stream. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I think that one's the most expensive one, the uh, the Skull Dungeon one, but it is wicked. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Sean says he's found a kryptonite piece. Is that the um, like the, the fish and chip piece, the chip uh, piece rock, but in green? That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Don't know if I've seen That'd that be before. Cool. But yeah, so I've caught up with the chat. Yeah. Hopefully. I'm hoping it's all streaming okay as well. Yeah. feel like people would shout them. yeah most probably i'm sure they will at some point you but yeah we're getting messages. through i think you're building cheap cheeps in a second yes so I am. First I, that was character. what i got very excited about i saw um wings which excited me a lot so yeah the cheap cheeps if you don't know they are the fish that kind of jump or i don't know that i keep thinking of the jumping ones they're actually in sonic the cheap cheeps are only in the underwater levels, I think. And if they're on ground, they're usually like flapping around because you can just walk over them because they're absolutely rubbish uh, in the thing. So Lorene said, uh, yes, we are the same here. And I had to stop side buying more yesterday. Ah, oh, yeah, that is the problem. So Octane Thermopy says, what is your plan for the second assembly square? I would recommend a jazz cafe alternate build. Yep. It's the one I've been looking at. Interestingly, <laughs> there's a, I think that, is that the one that's the corner build? There's two I've seen. And yes, Rebecca is, is the whole reason I'm getting the set. Um, I saw it was an inverted corner build that I thought was great. Uh, and there was another one as well. So between those two, I might do one or the other of those. But that's the reason I got it. Yeah, it was the fact that because we haven't been collecting modulars and old modulars are an absolute fortune at the moment that yeah. I wanted to try and do stuff that's a bit more unique anyway. And I think finding some rebrickable stuff is absolutely awesome. So um, yeah, I bought, I did that with the, uh, with the haunted um, high school from, um, yeah. yeah, if you guys haven't seen that, that's a city update where I did that as I'm, I'm turned it into a little modular building. Yeah. And although it's not the greatest build, I think, I think the alternate assembly square ones would be a lot more easier because yeah. it comes with the correct pieces to make it modular and stuff. So, uh, yeah. so yeah. So Sean says it's a translucent green piece. Yeah, and it's like the chip piece. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought it would be. That's the that piece I would use. That's very cool. That's, that is cool. So it's a great model. I did the Jazz Cafe and it looks fantastic. Good to know because often you can't quite tell the reviews of those rebickable ones. But um, but yeah. So Lewis says his Lego budget is £100 a month. That's a good budget. It's that's a, good a good budget, budget. But I do think we spend... Well, we have we that. have at the moment. <laughs> I mean, I mean these, these are way more than that. But um, yeah, I think we would drop down to less than um, what we're doing at the moment at least anyway yeah. but um again with with having a channel you kind of have to almost put some put some money and time into it anyway yeah so um i need to find content that maybe isn't as expensive to keep doing but the problem is is that if you guys have noticed i absolutely love lego so it's not it's not really a it's just an excuse to buy it more than anything it's not a oh i'm gonna buy it for the channel and i don't enjoy it i just love building lego yeah. so so yeah <laughs> so with Sai buying Lego uh, uh, um, and a tease with her K-pop stuff, it's just crazy. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Uh, and Sean said he's going to put the the crits that piece in near Superman. That'd be funny if them if you got. It'd be really cool to have like a glow in the dark head for Superman or something. And like when you put the crits in that piece near him, it would like make it change. That would oh, be cool, my, wouldn't that'd it? Be very cool. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, we are. You're building your first cheap cheap. It is weird, man. You can. I think they're new wing pieces. Those. Uh, I for really this. do love them. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Oh, has he, he hasn't? He hasn't put his face on. He needs his little. Oh, he needs his lips. 
There we go. So we'll quickly show you. Yeah, that's because he's going to go around. That's his playability feature. But there is a cheap, cheap. So there he is. And he's got the uh, scanner at the back. And that's because you hit him and they rotate around like that, I believe, on the playability functions. But he's pretty cool. That's a new piece there, the wing pieces. So I'm sure people will find awesome stuff to do for that with mocks and things. Maybe even attaching them to the back yeah, of characters to turn them into angels and stuff. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Does that just go like that, does it? Yeah, through here. Mm -hmm. oh, through, through. Push. All the way? Yeah. Because this one goes on the bottom. Ah, okay. I can't see the instructions from it, from here. But yeah. So, oh, sorry. Brick Clicker said, do the news its free content and get mm -hmm. loads of views. <laughs> uh, 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 very true. But uh, then I'd be competing with your channel. So, um, Sean says, I've got the glow in the dark head Batman. Oh, that's cool. With the eyes. That's, that's pretty, pretty sweet. He says, my whole room is K-pop. <laughs> my whole room's Lego. This is my room. I've been, I've been made in the attic. This is like my home office and Lego room. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, Brick Valor says, he is so cute. I'm pretty sure he's on about the cheap cheap, not me. But uh, thanks anyway for doing <laughs> um, Wex Brick says, I like those new wing pieces. Yeah, they're awesome. I can really imagine them being good on like a Falcon character or like Archangel for X-Men and stuff. Yeah. I think it would be great. Um, oh, and... Brick in it, it's pronounced Nullig. I believe Nullig. that's um that's the sun. The sun, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm terrible at pronunciation. Nullig. So I apologize if I've offended anyone with my terrible pronunciations <laughs> of anyone's names in the chat. But um yeah, uh, I know my um one of my friends when we were growing up, his um sister was called Sean, but it's spelled S-I-A-N because they were Welsh. And it was something yeah. that everyone used to call a cyan. Uh, which when we were young, that's a super cyan, which is from Dragon Ball Z, but yeah. <laughs> Which is so annoying with people when they've got a different pronunciation of how it's said, um, yeah. especially for people that don't really know. Um, Octane Thermos says, Do you have Steamboat Willie? I don't, but mentioning that set, does. there <laughs> might be someone that'll pop on in a second and go, Did you mention Steamboat Willie? Which is Rogue Runner. It's his favorite set of all time. And I haven't bought it. I'm not, I, I don't want to offend Rogue, but I'm not the biggest Disney fan in that sense. We do have all the CMF series, though. You yeah. loved the CMF series too, didn't you? So, um, yeah, no, it does because that's how it works. Um, so yeah, I haven't really. We bought this. We buy all the CMFs or try to. We're collecting them at the moment, but yeah. um, we've got all the Disney CMF series, but we don't own the castle or we do have the train station, but that was bought separately for the yeah. city, not um, for the Disney stuff. So, but uh, here's the cheap cheat. This is the playability functions where you get Mario and you uh, bop these around and then they spin so like that, and then you basically get coins. So that's pretty cool. You get two of them in the set, which is quite nice. I really like that. That's that reminds cool. me more, though. I don't know if you guys agree, but that there just reminds me more of Sonic with the ones that come out at you. Yeah. You know, the one, the piranhas that you used to yeah. pop, you know, had to jump and bop on the head. But pretty cool playability function nonetheless. Um, so, oh, yeah, there we go. Straight away, it was the next one. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, uh, I've been turning it into Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Oh, oh that, is, no, that is awesome. Do you know who Oswald the Lucky Rabbit is? No, no, it's it's not a bad thing. Okay. Oswald the Rocky Lucky Rabbit is the original Mickey Mouse. Um, so you know the one that's got the long ears? Oh, it's got you, yeah. I, yeah. I wanted the pin badge when we went, and I, I, I forgot to pick it up when I went to Galaxy's Edge because they uh, I went over and they had um, Oswald. Uh, he's, he's awesome. Um, that would be really cool. That's a great idea. Um, <laughs> Rosa, so did I just hear the greatest Lego set of all time we mentioned? Uh, Lorraine says, well done. Perfect. Here in Ireland, Sean is spelled. Yeah. This, yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's really strange. Spellings. Yeah. I mean, I do know the Sean names. Um, I think actually, it's Sean the sheep spelled with a H, isn't it? Um, but I have a friend from Manchester who uh, his uh, he's Irish descent, so his is spelled Sean like that. So when yeah. we went to uni together, <laughs> people are laughing at Ray coming on straight away. Go on, what was... I was going to say Siobhan's another one. The Siobhan. Irish, the Irish spelling for that. Well, Sinead, isn't Sinead an Irish name yeah, as well? Yeah, And that's and, uh, uh, signing it, how it's like kind of spelt. Wex has said, Rogue Runner, I love Steamboat Willie. Super cool set. I love the playability. Wish it came with... Yeah, the big thing would have been awesome to have in that. And the bird's a little bit of a cop-out as well, because it's like a friend's bird. It's not quite as nice as it should be, and it's not really accurate to the actual Steamboat Willie TV, but never mind, doesn't matter. People are saying it's a brilliant set. And uh, Sean says he loves Sean the Sheep. Yeah, it's great. I love Wallace and Gromit uh, in general. That would be... I did say the other day when people asked uh, what UCS set they want to say, I would say I would love to see Sean the Sheep on the motorbike with the sidecar. Oh, yeah. It would have been brilliant. So maybe we should 
campaign for Sean the Sheep and Wallace and Gromit. Um, Let's do an idea set. That'd be awesome. Do an idea set. I'm not, I'm not good enough to do uh, Sean, uh, Sean the Sheep and uh, Wallace and Gromit stuff. But yeah, so I think we're not we too far pets. through. How far have we got left? I've got two more bags. Only two more bags, and then we'll get on to, um, to this one. But yeah, I think we're building the third and final mushroom. So we've got two yeah. of them here, as well as the cheap cheeps. Mario's just chilling over here. Um, and then we've got also mushroom and, and uh, toad, I can call him mushroom then, toad and toadette, uh, which are the figures in this as well. If people hadn't seen them from earlier. Yeah, it was Aaron. Yeah, I hadn't, the only one I haven't watched was that Stone Age one. Um, I can't remember what it's called, like 100 BC or something it was called. I can't remember what it was called. I never watched that one. Oh, ah, so apparently it's Irish for Christmas. That's oh, very lovely. nice. Yeah. Like that. Like I say, my name's, well, Christopher's from St. Christopher, but I'm guessing that's probably something to do with, because it's, um, it's a saint name, isn't it, Christopher? It's uh, in the Bible. It's a biblical name, but. <laughs> so we've got some new people. Let's quickly get to cover it. Now we need next. No, we don't. I should say that. <laughs> Uh, Simon's coming saying hi Mario and Luigi. I've actually got used to the hat now. It was really yeah. itchy and hot when I first put it on, but I've forgotten it's on. There we go, early man, that's what it's called. I need to watch that, I think it's on Netflix. Let me know, Sean, if it is. Um, and if people don't know what we're talking about, we're on about uh, Ardman's, the guy who makes Wallace and Gromit and, um, and Sean the Sheep and stuff. Uh, they're now digitally now though, aren't they? So it doesn't take as much time as it used to because they're not um, plastic modeled. Stop motion. Yeah, if you can hear the background thing, that's rain. We're in the attic, so we have big glass windows that put a lot of rain. So Arctin said, not intending this as self-promotion, but Oswald is going to be on Rebrickable in a few days. Oh, so you do it? Do you do Rebrickable sets then, Arctin? That's really interesting. Didn't know that. I have to look at some of your sets, mate. Um, Lorraine said, hey, how is your Sunday? <laughs> to Simon Moss. Sai's coming in. Lots of love for Sai. Oh, and then, yeah, it is Sean. I don't know what that's for. But I think people are saying that they love. Uh, yeah. Can't see Sean's last comment. Sorry, but um, I hate it when people do that and you go, "What are you clicking up? You're not in the conversation." So uh, yeah. But yeah, people are saying they love all his work. Uh, SMR. <laughs> I don't think we'll do any of that with the clicking. But yeah, the rain might be a bit more SMR. Yeah. ASMR. Yeah. The, although not with this microphone. I'll tell you that for nothing. No, not um, oh, so I say it's his first one. I'll oh, check that out, mate. Yeah. Definitely. Cool. Um. That'd be really cool. Maybe, uh, maybe um, Rogue would want to do that. I don't know if Rogue's in the uh, in the chat. Rogue, let us know if you'd be looking at maybe looking at the uh, the Oswald to do your see well. I know you're a massive Mickey Mouse fan though, because yeah, he's been I'm not sure collecting he every single Mickey Mouse, yeah. which is pretty cool. Um, I love the videos with um, from the um, castle. Yeah, it looks so cool. Yeah, if any of you guys do like Disney, like I said, go and check out Rogue. He's been doing some like uh, his favorite villains that he's got and stuff like that. It's quite interesting and. Um, yeah, I didn't even know some of those villains. They yeah. made them in minifig form. Uh, it's great because we only really collect the CMS for that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, is it Oslo, the the um, the big teddy bear from Toy Story Three? I think it's called Oslo. He's an awesome looking minifig. Um, it doesn't sound right, but I can't remember what it is. I think it is. Let me know if it's Oslo. I think it is. Or, or Lon Lonzo? Is it Lonzo? Like I don't know what it is. I've only watched Toy Story Three twice. Because I was old when it came out. Yeah. Toy Story 1 and 2 are like my favourites. People asking Sean if he's done any more recording. See, people mm -hmm. are waiting for your channel stuff, Sean. You just need to get it out, mate. Um, people are all saying, yeah, it's he's called Lotso. Oh, I said Lotso. What did I say originally? Lonzo. Yeah, there we go. As you can tell, I'm not the biggest Disney person, although I do like Pixar a lot. Enjoy it. It's just. Yeah, time. it's not something I watch all the time. People saying, hi, Brick. Uh, Hi, hey Benwood, how's it going with his awesome uh, little Yoda, baby Yoda fig there? Uh, and Rose is saying, thanks guys, no worries mate, at all. Lotso, oh, that's what it's called, Lotso Hugging Bear. There oh, we go, that's his name. That makes more sense. Uh, yeah. And then we've got a new one, XX Iconics, I think that is. Let me know if I've said that right. How, why, oh, hi, well, I'm just in time. How's it going? Great to have, I haven't seen you on one of the live streams before. Really nice to have you on here, mate. Um, yeah, so if you've only just joined, We've been building lots of the uh, yeah, lots of the uh, toads. What's it called again? I can't remember what this one's called. Again, it's Toad Treasure Hunt, Hunt, and it's basically Toad Treasure Hunt the game, isn't it? From the Wii. Yeah. So um, we built lots of these mushrooms. You're on the third one. 
So this is the biggest one. They are only facades though. And people have been saying that it's a bit of annoying that we don't get the spots on them. I kind of agree. I wish it had more spots. Yeah. There are little uh, stud bits though. So you could maybe add one or two white studs. I don't know how that would look because they'd be a bit small. Right um, and then we have Mario over here, but we'll get to him in a minute when we play this level. Um, the two main characters that you get in this set are Toad and Toadette. And these are really cool buildable characters. They're very similar to the minions. They have the same arms and stuff like that. Um, and then we also get the enemy in this set, which I think these are exclusive. Bar the, the there's a golden cheap. I think he's called the Eat Cheap in the blind bags. But you get the 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 cheap cheaps, and these kind of you hit the back of them there, and Marius was a hit them, so it spins and you collect coins that way, which is pretty cool. I like that playability on this, and then you also in this one you get these special boxes. And I think I've only done one box so far. I think you got box two in there, actually. I've just seen a two tile come out. But um, basically, if you hit this here, you get these cool boxes that are unique to this. And you're trying to collect the boxes to gain lots of coins, I think, yeah. during the, uh, play, the play of this level, which is pretty cool. So hopefully that's explained what we've got up to so far. Um, we have been doing it only for an hour and almost done it. So we're definitely going to be doing the Desert Pokey after this, which is the other set that we have. And if we get time, we might also open these little packs as well just to see what they are but i think a lot of people aren't too bothered about the uh these little uh, power packs let me know if you are but um if not we'll just probably build them off stream because there's not too much to them have you told um, people about the other sets and what we did yesterday uh, no i'll do that in a second just let me go through i want to try and keep up with the chat because <laughs> <people behind. are> <laughs> yes you just said it right awesome thank you uh tacards come in how's it going mate love the hats thank, thank we you. had these ordered we just didn't get them yesterday because we did not think we would have been streaming yesterday. Oh, we, we got went, these ready we for next week to be um, because I said I'm an absolute Super Mario fan. Super Mario oh. fan. Oh, that's terrible. That's uh, like a brick clicker fan. Yeah. Them. So uh, people saying hey to people. Yeah, I'll start another one. Ooh. Like that sign with the arrow. Yes. So that's a printed sign piece, which is really cool. That, I think, is from Super Mario oh, World, yeah, which is what cool. I was showing yeah. you the other day. Um, it's really, really cool. Mrs. Brick in it, she, uh, a tease is now some to you. So I'm growing, it's fantastic. Uh, so Those just, videos, then I'm getting subscribers. So just to let everyone know, Mrs. Brick in it does have a YouTube channel, but she will not be posting videos, and not in the near future anyway, because no, obviously we're spending more future. time on just growing one channel than two. But it's so that when I'm on a lot of other streams and stuff or doing things, she can comment in the comment section and people like know. Like the premieres and things. Yeah. And interestingly, if uh, I think Generic was still in here, he might not be here anymore, but Generic did her um, icon as well, her little yeah. profile picture. So if any of you guys are after SigFig profile pictures, in fact, this old one that's at the top here, this is my old one still that I haven't sorted out, that one there, um, he did that as well. So uh, Yeah, I think he, he, he does it for a small charge. Yeah, so he does it for a little charge, but um, yeah, if you ever want to hit him up on Instagram, Generic Stud, he will definitely look at doing those. And I think he's also done Sean's Lego channel one as well that's just come up. Yeah, I think he's Sai yeah. Connor's new one. Yeah, he did. so I just found the cream pie piece. Yeah, we got one of those in the buildable minifig thing. In fact, uh, I think it's in my food container one. Yeah, I can find it quickly so people know what he's on about. Yeah, here it is. It's that one. So there's one with strawberries on, but um, yeah, we got that one in the buildable minifigs, didn't we? When I we went to London, yeah. I've got a whole uh, tray dedicated to food in there for my uh, for my city. Um. Oh, that just jumped me down loads. Sorry. Uh, Simon Mars, hey Lorraine, he's popping around tomorrow evening at seven. I don't oh, know I think what that's that been is. Some building work. That's ah, amazing. okay. Uh, so X, XX Iconics has just said, I got a Birch book set and I finished it today. Yes, it's great. I'll, I, I say it's my worst modular of the four we've got, but it's still a great module. Oh, I mean, it's so great. I think modules are still my favorites that, I've, that I own. So, um, but yeah, interestingly, it would be interesting to know if you're going to get Assembly Square in any of those because I, I say, and I think. Semi Square is my favorite set of all time. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, people say it's a cool set. Finished it in four days. Yeah, it does take quite a while. Yeah, um, the big set. Brick has found and heard my pun. Yeah. yeah, it probably was. I didn't mean it. it. There wasn't even a pun. It just came out. People are saying hi in the channel. It's so exciting for building work. Uh, keeps pushing down because I am. Um, you can't keep up. Uh, it's his nose. Um, uh, can we have a link to Mrs. Brick in its channel? Um, I don't know how to do that. Uh, I can try. Let me let me try quickly. I'm going to really lose the chat now. Um, I have to do it in a different. Uh, you're going to grow if you, you're going to get a couple more. If, uh, okay. That's awesome. 
Well, you don't come up now if I type in Mrs. Brick in it. Oh, wait there. Um, I know you commented on... Did you comment on this one? You might comment hey, guys, Chris. Oh, don't want to open. Don't want to be... It's like muted the sign. There I am. There you are. Let's click on that. There's a link to your channel. <laughs> here we oh. are. Stick it in the uh, in the post here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, uh, so, just wanted to sub. It wasn't hard and it's 16 plus. Yeah, yeah, it's not too difficult. Um, they're going to be 18 plus, I think, in the future. Yeah. Uh, people saying, wow, it's looking good. Hi, Ryan, I didn't know you were on. How's it going? Oh, that's a cool thing. You see that? The wow on it. It's pretty oh, cool wow. made. Uh, yes, the Lego and Hobby Room could be with us this year. Oh, yeah. Can't wait, mate. Uh, me too. Uh, I'm bricking it. Uh, that's like me. I have a YouTube channel with nothing on it, just watching streams and that. Yeah. yeah. So also go go check out Lorraine as well, Sarah Connor. Awesome Lego channel. He's fairly new on the scene, but he's been doing it for ages. Uh, like you know, he's on Jang Bricks's Patreons and stuff. Yeah. But I he's... think I think Lorraine knows who Sarah Connor. Is. No, I know who Lorraine does. I'm telling <laughs> the chat. Go and check out uh, Sarah Connor's channel. Does some great videos and uh, does them every day as well. Actually, little videos. Yeah, he does. Quite, so, quite it's nice. Short and sweet, kind of bite-sized content, uh, which is good. Says so Mr. Brickin' It, you're on many Brickin' It <laughs> videos, obviously, so you're going to become famous. <laughs> Don't think so, and by uh, any stretch. Uh, 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 yeah, there you go. So the same. sai has been getting some as well because he's always in the chat, isn't he? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that was the link that I sent. By the way, Star Wars sets are on John Lewis. I saw there were a couple, but I don't think they're able to be ordered, though, if I remember rightly. Yeah. Um, and I didn't see the 501st Battle Pack, but you guys let me know, because they might be getting some purchases for something in the future. Uh, do you recommend the Pet Shop and Coffee Shop? I don't own them. I, I, I love, I would probably recommend any module you can get hold of for the price, to be honest, because I think they're all good. Well, for a decent price. Some of them have gone a bit expensive, which is why we've not yeah, them yeah. on it. So Linda Bridges say, hi, hi Greg, how's it doing? How's it going, mate? Uh, Lorraine, love the avatar, uh, a tease. Hey, everyone's showing some love in the chat. Um, I also have a YouTube channel. There we go. Because uh, I want to get that one too. Uh, Oki, freaking it. I got me a Star Wars set today. Is that one of the new ones then? Is that one that, um, that hasn't come out yet? Because um, like I said, there's been some, but... The ones that I saw were the ones that I was not interested in remotely that we saw that we yeah. could have maybe got. Um, I think the Fire First Battle Pack is the one that I'm going to be getting. Um, yeah. and maybe that AAT. And then I think I'll get the two 40 Years of Empire. So the Cloud City Bespin one and the uh, the Attack Walker or AT-80 Walker. Mm -hmm. oh. <sighs> Yeah, Tapo says the so there we go. The two that I mentioned before I even saw it, they're the two that are out of stock. Yeah, they're yeah. the two that I'd be looking at. Um so oh, oh yes, yeah, the wedding day. Um there you go. So there's Sai and uh, Lorraine on their wedding day. That's their uh, there we go. So everyone's asking what the set is that Greg had got. Please don't say it's General Grievous's battleship because you've wasted your money. Uh Oh, Vogue as well, he might be doing it tonight. Fair enough, so he doesn't want to say which one it is. But um, but yeah, that's probably the one that most people are a bit like, mm, too. Mm -hmm. I think it's too expensive. Hopefully it'll go down in price at some point. Um, the Knights of Ren one, actually, again, is another one, but uh, I don't like the ship that much, but I want the two minifigs. What's that thing in the top of the storm? Oh, yeah, not to poke your eye out. Because ah. <laughs> I think if you pop it, it's slightly. Oh, I've now made it. Oh, sorry. I think I've got it stuck now. How's that happen? That's not good. Because there we go. Yeah, because when you hit it, I think you can pop your eye out with it if you hit it. So it's a warning to not hit your face. So this is a. Um, oh, that's a, cool. We've got a spell. Oh, yeah. So we've got a new printed piece I haven't seen before, which is a treasure chest. And this one, you pop the lid open, and that's to reveal the second one of those. Uh, pink um, boxes, I'd say, with, that you can collect in this, which is pretty cool. So that's quite a nice little build there. I think we're really near the end of this now, aren't we? Is that the last bag? Well, the last bag of the uh, Toad's setup, which is pretty cool. So. Ah, so apparently he's got the uh, the Razor Crest. Fair enough. 
General Grievous' Starfighter is pretty good. Uh, I think it's a good ship. I just think it's too expensive, to be honest. That's what I was uh, saying. But um, yesterday I got the Night Buzzard and the AAT. Oh, wow. And the Brickheads. Good going. Night Buzzard's the one that I would want to get just for those two minifigs, which is pretty cool. So uh, Simon says he got his bookshop yesterday and yet another 12 in one set and another Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah, they came packed in its own box. We had that, didn't we? We ordered the Lamborghini and it came in its own box, which is just yeah. ridiculous. We're just like, uh, really? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, those sets look really big, especially the... Yeah, they're not actually that big because they're actually facade, so they're not as big as they look, but um, they're pretty cool nonetheless, though. Quite a nice little uh, display pieces. I think I might display these downstairs all together. Mm -hmm. um, oh, then people said the brick heads. Uh, so maybe it's the brick heads. Oh, that's rubbish. I'm not bothered about the uh, the brick heads. Well, uh, to be honest, the baby Yoda one's pretty cool though. Uh, mm -hmm. I do quite like that. To be fair, I never was bothered about um, about brick heads at all. And then I think the the new Monkey King ones that's coming out and the yeah, Mandalorian I one, I might have to pick up because they are yeah. pretty sweet. But yeah. But yeah, I, I actually, I was thinking about cancelling my Razor Crest, if I'm honest, because there's so much other stuff that's come out of Star Wars sets that I think I prefer to the Razor Crest, because I think that one just looks a little bit rushed. And um, I've already got the Mandalorian one from last year, the ATST. So I might just buy the Baby Yoda separately at some point. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure, really. Uh, people saying, organising my scrap minifigs. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I need to do some more organising. I've got lots of city sets recently with yeah. minifigs I need to organise of where they might go in the city at some point. Yeah. Um, oh, Rogue Runner's back. Rogue said he cancelled his Mandalorian Brickheads pre-order earlier in the summer. Oh, see, this is what I mean. I I'm, I think there's been a bit of like, because it took them so long for them to come out. The excitement's gone a bit. Yeah, I think it? the excitement's gone a little bit. So I said he's just waiting for three bricks and pieces and pick a brick orders to come. Yeah, I don't know if you, I haven't Sigh. shown that. Um, what did I say? Sigh. Yeah, I said sigh. What, what did I say? I thought I said sigh. Sorry if I didn't. Um, yeah. I got a, a, a pick a brick order come through earlier this week, which was going to be in the hall. I think I'm still going to do that hall this week, but it's yeah. for ballasting the train tracks. And oh my, it's expensive. And it's not even, yeah. not even a quarter of what I've got to do. So Yeah, the bricks and pieces order came no, the pick a brick order came through, but the bricks and pieces, which had been in the warehouse for longer, still hasn't on come. Ship. Yeah, but I think it's because those ones. Right. It might be that how they've got that maybe yeah. there's less people or something. Oh, Octane's got to go. Thank you very much for watching, mate. Thanks, Thanks for, for hopping by. Oh, and then people saying bye. Yeah. Uh, did I miss a city update? I haven't seen one in a while. Um, yeah, you might have, mate. Um, I have changed my thumbnails recently. So the city update this week was on Friday, and it's called Pavements. Yeah. Um, it does say Pavements Tutorial, but it is a LEGO City update. And that was something I wanted to um, to talk, actually, about with my thumbnails. Because obviously, they've massively changed recently. And maybe I need to have an, a particular one for the LEGO City updates, because I think they are getting a bit lost with all the reviews and other videos I do. Yeah. So maybe they need their own. And I probably might start creating their own ones for all of them, really. Minifig mm -hmm. one. But I just wanted to, um, to. Oh, I can't play with Legos without hearing your voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you two LBB. Um, yeah, when it comes to Mandalorian merch size, I've been more impressed with the Hasbro this in a way. Yeah, some of those Black mm -hmm. Series ones you've shown me, absolutely. Oh, that little baby Yoda's hilarious. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. And it's tiddly. So um, much detail. So Greg said he got the hidden side set today as well. I think that'll be my third and last train for now. Yeah, I think that's one of Bricklicker's favourite sets to be still in the uh, in the thing. He loves that train. Yeah. Um, people saying, hi, how are you, Mrs. Brickinit? I think you'll be getting um, well, thank you. I think you'll be getting some subs now. You're <laughs> taking me in no time. People are all saying hey to each other. Um, my bricks and pieces took 2.5 months to get here. Oh, oh, he has watched that one. Yeah, uh, so yeah, I watched that was on only on Friday. So <laughs> I know people want to get more city updates out of me, but um I I just don't think I could do more than one a week at the moment. Not at the you moment. You guys let me know if that's something you want to see, um, if I could do more. The only problem is I think they won't be as good quality because I just don't have the time to spend on the city updates all the time. Um, it's just trying to find the Whereas reviews are a little bit, I mean, they still take a lot of time to do the reviews, don't get me wrong, but I haven't got to try and think of projects every week yeah. to try and work on, um, which is a bit different. Hashtag city update, I think. Uh, mm. Hello, people are saying hello. Hi, I went for the new wave of Harry Potter. Yes. What do we think of the new Harry Potter waves? So we have the, um, what's the little one called? The Room of Requirements. We have yeah. that one. And I have Privet Drive as well. 
I just thought that was really cool and it might be used yeah. in the city at some point. Um, I think that's awesome. I think it's one of the best ways we've had from Harry Potter in a long time. Um, I just don't buy Harry Potter that often, so it's just not something I would get. But the buildable Hedgewood's cool. The Burrows is really cool. Yeah. There's that one with the um, the big, the buildable fig with the, um, I can't remember his name. Oh. Uh, but yeah, there's lots yeah, of really no good worries. ones. Greg's got to go. No worries. See you later, mate. Bye. Um, love the city. Updates and builds. I'm waiting for the new way of Harry Potter. Yeah. So yeah, um, so interestingly with the city, I don't know if you guys know, but how I run the channel is um, is the fact that basically the reviews and stuff that I do are usually for the city. So they are technically city updates in some ways because I often do say what I'm doing on them. A lot of the time I do. Yeah. Um, I haven't with these Mario sets, for instance, because that's completely separate. I might do a Mario Kart section at some point though. Um, but people say one a week is fine, better than one a month, like some people. Yeah, exactly. That's what I wanted to do because pretty much what it is it's almost a vlog it's my way of doing a vlog basically because i don't do that city update in one day that's me literally doing every morning i get up early before work and i do a little bit and a bit after work and it's just and then i just get the the camera out and just film what i've been doing and then hopefully by the end of that week i've got a video together yeah. so um that's why you'll see in the background that it hasn't changed since the last update i haven't changed it at all like i just haven't got around to it because i'll start on monday and i'll be doing it a bit each day and that's how i get those those ones out there you're saying bye when my friend first ordered a lego set he said it came in broken oh dear that's not good is it he needs to build it um so are you going to do a suburb in your city yes i will at some point um there's loads of stuff i want to do yeah, um we want to do an auto underwater level which again that's why i was saying before i did the spongebob square pan sets they're going to be going in the city at some point yeah. um i've got to do an underground and i do have some kind of hip teenagers uh, mm -hmm. of the mutant variety that might be getting shown at some point that might be going in the city as well sean said what's your most popular video so my most popular video is actually the one that i first did with the train which i think is four thousand views my most popular like is my most pop my most popular proper video that gets engagement is how to start Lego City, my yeah. first Lego City update. But recently my Lego City ones have been doing great because people have been finding it more now in the algorithm, and um, which is really cool. And I mean, there's so many awesome cities out there. The fact that people bother watching my ones and get something out of it is incredible, really. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think they are the main ones. My hauls do quite well, which is why I, I film them. Um, and some of the reviews do great. I mean, the reason I do the reviews is just because I enjoy the sets and I, I buy them. So I might as well let you guys know what I think of them. Um, but yeah, people saying bye. Uh, what do you think about what do you think about the 2020 Avengers Tower? Yeah, I'm going to be buying that at some point. Definitely, uh, it won't be a day one, I don't think. Um, but yeah, uh, Teaser said it's so dark there. Yes, I think I might need to open the... Actually, I'll do that now because um, I've got all the blinds closed and got natural lighting, but I think this camera is a bit... Uh, it's not as good quality, so it might do the low light as well. So let's open, open these up a bit. You stay there, mate. It looks so bright on the, the um, camera there. We see it differently because obviously they see it more pixelated than we do. So yeah. uh, let us know if that's any better, guys. Um, good to let us know. Um... So we've got Aaron. Hey, mate, how's it going? What's the worst Lego set in your opinion? Does that mean for 2020 or of all time? Because um, I would not know. There's so no. many Lego sets. I uh, wouldn't have a clue. Yes, make a bikini bottom. Yeah, that's going to be doing. And then people saying with real water. No. So if you can see there's an under part of the city, I'm going to put another table there and then have a city, a, a Lego uh, underwater area on that. And I'm going to put LED lights at the back and make it look all rocky and stuff. And it should look cool. I've got it in my mind. It looks good. <laughs> Halls always tend to do well. Yeah, they do. Um, and that's why I do it. People said, is this your attic? Yes, it is my attic. Yeah. Um, it's become my office slash Lego room for the yeah. moment because it's got lots of space for our house, uh, for the city and things. And then we never know where the future may take us and it may get moved to somewhere else at some point as well. People said, what stand do you use? Uh, what for? I'm not sure what the stand I'm not sure. Not sure what. Oh. T says, so is Bruce, yeah, he's sleeping down there, but when I get off, he wants to come and see me. Bruce is our little pug. Um, of all time that I've got, ooh, 
So the worst set that I've ever bought was one that I don't own anymore because I gave it away, which was the UCF, UCS Hoff. Uh, it was terrible. And I wasn't too pleased with the Death Star, if I'm honest, either. And um, that one's been broken up, though, and parted out for other stuff. But yeah. Uh, Sean says that he thinks the piano is the worst set of all time. I think that's incredible, that set. It's not for me. I might get it. Um, but yeah. Uh, and yeah. So, so people said, what's your pug's name? He's called Bruce. Phone stand. This is actually a... Um, Manfrotto. This is a Manfrotto stand. And then it's a clip that I actually got from a GoPro accessory pack. And it came with a phone one for some reason. So I used that. Yeah. Uh, people said Bruce. Everyone knows Bruce now. Um <laughs> Sam, I said, how can the piano be the worst? Yeah, I think the piano is, is a stroke of absolute genius. Um, for me, it's just not for me because I don't really have anywhere to display something like that. But you never know. It does have a Christmas song on it. So uh, you never know in the future. Um, we've got a new person coming in. Hey, Matty, how's it going? Hi, I like your hats. Yeah, we Thank bought these for the, uh, for the stream. And we got it for next week's stream as well. Uh, Sean says he just hates it. Fair enough. Don't... Not for everyone. People saying, can it play real notes? Yes, it can. So from what I've seen, it has motors in it and they hit colors. And if you use your phone, it plays music through your phone. Uh, you can also, it has 10 songs that are pre-built in. And when you press one of those, it can play and the keys move and it, may, it plays the song, which I just think is really, really cool. Um, it's very fun. Oh, so you built the, this is the, the, the tree that I think, um, I can't remember who said about these uh, green pieces. But they are there now, the green cloud pieces. So pretty cool. You also have this bit here. This is the third one. And you have to flick it up like that with Mario to um, get the third box. And we have a different Goomba with a different facial expression, which is pretty cool. So I think you're now trying to build the set together, are you? Oh, you've now killed um, Toadette. There we go. I'm actually not sure if Toadette was supposed to have that bit on that I put on her because her eyes look too far down now. So I have to have a look at that on the thing. Mm. So Steph's just making a level out of the level that we've made. Um, well, loads of people just messes since I've done that. Oh, oh dear. Bricklick has started his puns again. I'd say the piano is a pretty grand set. Oh, gosh. Hey, Jewel Face, how's it going? Hi, Chris. Enjoying your new toys? Yes, we are. Although Steph's been the one building this one. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, people are saying about the pun. Uh, do you think we'll get a real minifigure size? This is what we were about earlier. I'm not too sure, to be honest. Um, I would love to see them, but I, I think this is here to stay. Um, so we'll just have to see, I think. We'll have to see. Uh, oops, in the shipping. I just look, I just love or hate a set. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, and then people said, I think the grand piano is a very nice set. Yeah, I can, I definitely appreciate it. I definitely appreciate it. Um, it's just not one that I will probably pick up. Is it actually telling you how to build it? No. That's weird because it shouldn't really tell you how to build it because you're supposed to build it however you want. Ah, oh, this that came with a pack of random bits, didn't it? Random. Yeah, you're too you're too much following the instructions. I just kind of want to build it, however. You can mess it up. Actually. Yeah. I love how I phrase that as mess it up, not build it creatively. <laughs> so, uh, rogues use the same super as me. I think these Lego Mario sets are super. I did that earlier, mate, and people said it was a terrible pun. Um, that was a pun too generic for you, generic stood oh dear. Oh gosh. Paid seven pounds on as a checkout for next day delivery. Fair enough. Uh, the two stores, people are everyone saying people said, why no sig fig face? Because it's cool. Uh there is no reason. I just think everyone has sig figs. Um, and I just wanted to make mine a bit more unique. And it was just a weird thing that reduces simplicity. Uh, I just think it looks cool. Um, and I always had this idea of when I reached a thousand to maybe do a sig fig face reveal and give him a face, but I don't think I'm going to bother. I think I like it as it is. I just think it looked kind of cool. Um, people say I'm making new minifigs with the bookshop, rearranging them. Yeah, it's pretty cool to do that. Making like people coming into the shops and stuff. Uh, Channel Fox and maybe do a stand up. <laughs> oh dear. I don't think he's that good to do stand up comedy. Uh, <laughs> there we go. And then. The way the piano works and is engineered is just awesome. Yeah, I, I agree. I think same with the, um, I'd say that's the same with the NES. I don't know if you agree with that, Simon, but like 
the fact that the NES, I think that's going to be uh, one in history as well. The fact that it works on a rotor and it creates music based off of the Mario character on the top, I think it's just absolutely great. So and people are just talking about next day deliveries on stuff. I think there's so many people trying to get sets and things at the moment. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, people just think we kind of popped up and got this. We basically were out most of the day trying to get this set, weren't we? Uh, trying to, uh, it's just something I really wanted um, to get these these sets. You built it, yeah? Yeah. Got a random tree here as well. I'm guessing that's where this. I'm guessing. Oh, that's where this one will go. Yeah. I don't think it matters. We don't know. I don't know where the arrow is. I'll put it next to. Does uh, Toadette go anywhere? Yeah, she was over by her thing. There. She was. Oh, you broke her. Okay, so we're just getting this set up and then we can play at a level quickly. So. Oh, wow. So, Jewel Face said you got the Fire of the First Battle Pack and the AOT. Wow, amazing. Oh, wow, wow, That's wow. awesome. Like I said, I kind of. Um, yeah, he was saying the Sifu looked good with no face. Yeah, I, th I thought it looked kind of cool. I quite like it. Uh, I just wonder what other sets like the Nazi Pit. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be amazing to see them in the future. Um, people said they got fire fist. The canon explanation, the Sig figures once the protector of the Lego city. After an attack from Lego friends, his loved ones died. To show no emotions, he erased his face. <laughs> that is brilliant. Yeah, so I don't know if people realise that I don't I like that. Lego uh, minifig dolls. Yeah. Well, they're they called, they're called mini dolls, aren't they? I'm not a fan of them. So uh, that's really funny. I might have to put that on my like about them. us. Yeah. I was like, going to change my battle. So anyway, yeah. at some point, that's quite funny. I think we need to. So how come you've got a 501st dual face? Wow. Keep doing what you love. Oh, cheers, mate. Thank you for popping in. Catch you in the next one. See you. And uh, yeah, so this is actually built now. So I don't know. Do you want to? I'll try and put this a bit forward so you can see the whole level just for now, and then we'll move it back. Do you want me to try and record uh, no, no, it's okay. We don't need to record uh, this bit. So I'll turn on Mr. Mario. Um, do you want to add in the start and the end? Oh, yeah, I need to add in the start and end, don't I? That would help. So I'll put that there. Where do you reckon the end should go? Uh, maybe maybe there by the chest. We'll do it by the chest just to show it. So I haven't actually seen where the uh, where the question marks are, so that's quite interesting to do that, to like hide them. I don't know where they are. So uh, the the three boxes. So this oh, yeah. so basically the play feature of this one is the cheap cheeps here that you hit around. You've got a Goomba there. You can chat to um, Toad and Toadette. And we have the one of those slides that I call it. We actually have another one, another balancing one here. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you moved my arrow. That wasn't like that. No, but I meant it doesn't go like that. It goes like that. Oh. The pole in the middle, and then we have oops, some playability with these these yeah. really cool little um, boxes where you got to find all three. I knew one was going to be in there. So let's start the course and see if I can do it. Sixty seconds. So bounce across here. There we go. And I know that there's one in here because I can see it from here. So you have to hit that. There we go. We've got some coins for that. Got pretty good at these slides now as I've been doing it. So I'll go and talk to Toad. Hello. Get coins for that. Go over to Toadette. Is there anything around this mushroom? I don't think so. So I'll go over here. I'll hit these. Oh. Don't think I can get any coins from them though. There we go. And then... Oh, I've got to go back. I've got to go up here. Oh, I've just seen the other one. It's here. So I have to run quick. <laughs> there we go. And I completed the level. So 40, 40 coins. Not too bad at all for my first go. So Doc says, is this the Manchester stream? Uh, no, it's just the, just the, the Chris stream. It's just the Chris show. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so there we go. So that is the, um, the Toad's, Toad's treasure hunt, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. 
I think what we'll do now is should we do this one before we yeah. before we go? We've got um we've been on for an hour and a half, so we can easily finish this and then yeah. uh, we'll call it a day there, I think, or yeah. unless people want me to do the back the packs as well. Yeah. So I think um Sean's Lego channel is asking how much was this one? So I think this one's seventy five pounds. Yes, this one's seventy five, which is quite expensive. Um that's why I mean this one does have more playability maybe because you've got the cheap cheaps, yeah. you've got uh, the slides and stuff, and obviously you get toad and toad which are and exclusive to this. Fine. Yeah, and the boxes are quite cool. I think the boxes are exclusive to this one as well. So I have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure they are. Um, but we will move these over here. I'm getting an entire oh, oh, get an entire salt course back here, and I've already broke the uh, mushroom. Uh, Oops. It's okay. They're not. They don't take too much to your build anyway. But, um, I always good, drop something. I was going to say, Chris likes a good drop test, don't you? Yeah. So I've already Did drop tested all the pieces. Yeah, it's fine. There's only a little bit on the floor, oh, okay. which is just the slide that fell down. So I'll try and put all these over here and not drop the rest of them. Um, oh, maybe I'll put them over. Jack Studios. Maybe I'll put them over the way out of here at the moment because I haven't got enough room behind me. So move the builder packs over there and move these. Put them over there. They'll be fine there, out the way, I think. Yeah. So let's open the next one. So this one is the uh, Desert Pokey set, and it's the last one we have other than the uh, packs until um, until we get the uh, the next ones next weekend. Yeah. So pretty cool. Um, do you want to start? No, you don't need that. It's just the sheets. I'll just quickly go through the chat. Uh, people are saying that. Keep doing it. Bye. Um, Mini dolls need to die. I completely agree. Uh, John Lewis had them apparently, yeah. Ooh. I didn't know they had them in though. Nice. Uh, they, the sets seem a bit finicky, but lots of bits to fall off. Yeah, they are a bit finicky to be fair, especially for children. There are quite a few fiddly bits. Where, how do I get the instructions? So you go onto that and then you press the, ah. and then you find the set that you've got, which is yeah. that one, and it'll tell you, and then you scan this character and it'll then load up on the, on the set. Oop. Yeah, people are saying they saw them all. It's nice to see seen that one. The road set looks great. Toad set, I think he means, but yeah. yeah. Uh, Auto correct. <laughs> yeah. Oh, people saying hi to Doc. Hey, Doc, how's it going? Hey, Jack Studios, how's it going, mate? Yes, Manchester City are currently screaming the gold. <laughs> ah, that's maybe why as well, because I think that set's on too. The, uh, that's what Rogue was saying he was watching earlier. Yeah. People saying they love the hats. Thank you very much. Uh, people saying hi, lots of love in the channel. People saying they aren't bringing the title in there. Oh, we know there's a little bit. Here we go. That set is expensive, but I still think, yeah, it is. I mean, the bigger sets, I think, do look quite, they are quite expensive for what they are. Um, I, I kind of, that's why I think the smaller sets are probably more value for me. Um, but yeah, Tagos is going to head out. No worries, mate. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, Good catch you in the you. next one. Thank you for joining. So. Did you want to do some little things? I don't mind, you can build it if you want to. It doesn't really bother me too much. Um, I enjoy building, so... We'll this is only a small set. Anyway, how many bags does this one have? Three, Three. is it? Three. So, yeah. um, she's currently building the actual Desert Pokey himself, which I Ooh. thought this was great when I first saw I it. A great it. way to kind of have this character. I didn't know how they would do, like, a Desert Pokey, and it's one of the ones that I thought they would have skipped out on because it is a bit weird, but I think they've done a great job with these the little pyramid pieces like that that go on it. They don't go on like that, though. Twisted, yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense. Just like the Bowser ones. Oh, so people have just said they're back. Hey, CB, what's happened since the last? So we finished the um, the Toad's Treasure Hunt. Um, pretty cool set. We've just put it over to one side, and we're now building the Desert Pokey set, which is the last set we have. Um, other than these, maybe I could open these, actually. Shall I open? Do you, me, do you guys want me to open uh, the buildable character packs as well? Um, or not? Uh, people said not much. Yeah, not much has really happened since you've gone. People are obviously talking about football now. Um, but yeah, if you want me to open these, I can open these while Steph's building the uh, the, the Desert Pokey set. Yep. This one isn't too big of a set anyway. So we'll definitely be finished uh, in time. Um, a tease. Yeah, definitely be finished. Oh, people say to open them. Okay, so out of these two, which ones are going to open first then? I've got the cat suit and I've got the fire Mario suit. Um, so let me know which one. Uh, and someone said, when did I get the Desert Pokey? Well, it was on my haul, if you watched the haul earlier. Um, I got some extra stuff that came through today. So, um, so yeah, we got managed to get some sets. Quarter past um, seven this morning. Yeah, quarter past seven they arrived this morning. So, uh, so yeah. 
So um, he was saying, do I like the Monty Moore? Yes, I do. I pre-ordered it. So I will be, I've got another Mario on pre-order to get that Monty Moore set, but I might see if I can get one from the Lego store as well. Uh, Cause I'm going to buy lots of Lego sets. I'm going to ask them if I'm allowed one without the Lego Mario, see what they say, It'd be cheeky. Um, what are you going to do when you run out of space for your Lego? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, is the so we had fire, cat Mario, fire, fire, Argos for the win again, fire Mario, Monty Mall. So it's great. Okay, I'll do the fire one first. I'm going to do both of them anyway, so don't worry, Rogue. So this is the fire one. This is actually my favorite one. This is the one I really wanted to get. Um, to be honest, uh, this one, and I think the I like the one with the propeller head just because it looks fun. Um, I don't want to break the box if I can help it, but it looks like you're going to have to. Uh, oh, it's stuck on, look, stuck to the box. So, not much in these at all. And I think these are the only ones that actually come with instructions, interestingly, because uh, these would be pretty pointless to do as an app accessory. But, um, so yeah, let's open the instructions up, see what's inside. So it shows you basically it's advertising all of the other ones, which is probably why they got the instructions. And then this bit here just shows you how you put it all together as the stand. So I'll do that quickly over here. Box shops here. Oh, hey, mate, how's it going? I think you wanted me to say Mario. So there you go, I've said it. Uh, you said it, love that you've got all these sets. Of Cheers, mate, thank you. I haven't got all of them, sadly, but uh, I've got a couple of them, which at least starts my Mario rampage. Because, um, yeah, I love Mario. I don't know what you think, um, mate. Are you? Is it something that you're interested in? I think it's Derek, isn't it? I think it's called Derek. I think it's Derek from... Uh, there's so many names I have to try and remember at the moment. Being a young channel, you kind of forget everyone's names. And lots of new streamers recently as well. Yeah. Uh, I've been streaming with. But yeah, if anyone hasn't gone and checked out Derek's channel, go and check it out. It's really, really cool. He does a, it's basically a massive Bricklink store in his house, which is just absolutely phenomenal how much stuff he's got. Uh, it's crazy. But um, here we go. Let's put on. Well, you get some spare pieces too. Just in case you lose them, and then the hat goes on that. So, this is the Fire Mario one. Mm -hmm. That's the display for it. So you get some more of the red pieces, so you can basically use those if you want to. And it's the Fire Mario head and the uh, and the uh, little what do you call that? Suspenders. I suppose it's a suspenders. Dungarees. Dungarees. Yeah. So overalls. So people are asking. Oh, wait there. People have said lots of stuff since I've been here. Most of great. <laughs> Jewel phrase, I support Leicester. We don't care about football here. <laughs> uh, move house. <laughs> yeah, we've got quite a big house. so We've got quite a bit of space. Yeah, we can always it's build. Okay. At some point, I think we will probably build an office in the garden, but a pretty big one. So, uh, so We've yeah. got some stuff that we need to do to give you some more yeah. storage. Put them on, I will put them on Mario, don't worry. Rick and it, do you have any tips for gaining subscribers? Um. Just consistency. That's what I can really say. I, I try to upload at the same time every day, um, and it's just a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work. So people said, what's the origin of your channel name? I have no idea. I just thought it was funny to say brick in it. Because in the UK, to say brick in it means to also be scared or to poo yourself kind of thing. It's a nice way to say it, as we would say. So brick in it is like, because I was scared to make a, like a YouTube channel, so I was brick in it sort of thing. So it had a a, a double entendre, as you were. Uh, people talking about football again. Mm. Football, football. Uh, boo, brick clicker. Mm. <laughs> Perfect painter. Hey, how's it going, mate? I don't know. I've seen you in here before, or yeah, I have seen you in here before. I haven't seen you today. Sorry. Yeah. Do you wish you got into Lego at an earlier stage? No, 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 no. So I have always been in, into Lego. Don't, don't. Uh, I just sold a lot of sets. Um, as in, didn't trade them. It was just. Gave I them gave away. them away. I had them in the attic. Space. My parents moved house and put them in garage sales. We lived in a flat, so that's why I have a lot of stuff from 2014-ish era. Uh, then we had to give those away when we moved because we moved halfway across the country and I didn't have any rooms. We didn't have a house to move into. So I only saved my Slave One and my Jabba's Palace and a couple of other mini sets. I've got like the Mining Falcon and stuff. So, um, so yeah, sadly... Uh, I just lost it a lot, but then as we've got the bigger house now, I'm now building my collection out again. Uh, so yeah, yes, my oldest son has decided for sure, but not sure he wants the band to spend his own money. <laughs> Very true. Um, uh, that was a quick build. Yeah, it's super quick. They like nothing in it really. Um, we're talking about football again. 
yes, I've been watching this channel and he puts a lot of work in his deduction as, and is doing it right. Chris, your personality is great too. And I'm sure many people relate and scratch. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Like, yeah, that's what I try to do. I try to be as honest as possible. There's a lot of people that kind of try to put up too much of a professional attitude onto it or aren't honest. I just try to be honest. I try to let you know if I would buy the set, if I wouldn't buy the set. And I just, I spend my own money. I don't get anyone to buy this stuff. So, uh, well, other than you, I spend your money as well. And <laughs> my money. Uh, yeah. All right, see you later, mate. Thanks for popping in, Si. Um, see you later, Simon. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, good to go. Thank you very much. Hi, Bagel over. How is it going? So now I've got to catch up with the chat. I will get on with uh, putting this on Mario. So hilariously, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you take off Lago's underwear, or whatever you call it, so just he goes, uh, Mamma Mia, I think. Oh, just different things. Whoopi, he's excited. That shouldn't be uh, something he says. So, different. Oh, that's cool. So I don't know if you guys heard that. But, uh, oh, he's getting set on fire because he's on his... Uh, let me take it off again and see. If he... So when you actually put it on, he does the level up noise. That is awesome. Nice. So I'll change his hat as well. There we go. And he now has the firepower emblem on his belly, which is pretty cool to say that he's got the suit on. And I think when you do that, I think you kind of, yeah. He oh, fires. Yeah, so I don't know how it works. I think you just gain coins for doing it, but we'll soon find out. So that yeah. is the uh, power suit one. I'll put that over he's here. Scanned. Oh, yeah, sorry. So oh, I need you, to... Need to just, you need to connect him. Oh, is he not connected? Sorry, we've got to just put the... Uh, so what you have to do when you're getting a new set is you build the first figure and then it asks you to use basically Mario as a barcode. You scan it and then do you want to show them on the thing or do you want me to show them? And then it says this basically, you've added a new set and then you do that and it basically adds it to your collection and it just kind of grows your own kind of... It'd be in, I wish it did it in order because like my Bowser's Castle is second, which is a bit weird. And there we go. And I've got someone... See you soon, Simon. Liam Bricks has just come up. There we go. Oh, and new power-up pack as well. So they obviously realised that I got that too. So that's awesome. been added. That's pretty cool. Oh, interestingly, he's also changed to Fire Mario on the top, which is quite cool. Oh, cool. So there we go. So that's the Pokey set. And there's the Fire one. So I'll put this back on here. Oh, it's just built that behind it as well. But what? Oh, there we go. Yeah, the little pack. I think it's just to show you how to play it. But I'll look at that later. Yeah. So there we go. That's the Fire Mario one. And I'll put him back in his normal uniform oh he doesn't he doesn't power up when he gets his normal uniform on so there we go so that's the firepower one see you soon one with the stud oh see you later thank mate you for joining thank you so much for for tuning in it's been absolutely awesome i love doing these little streams yeah lots of people and like i said i think these are really cool that you can engage really well just because me and you we can chat yeah. easily and see people and um like i said I do hope you guys uh enjoy watching just me and you streaming i think they're a bit different to be honest i quite like doing it yeah so so it says, going to have dinner, might not be back in time for the end. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be on much longer because this isn't a massive set. No. But it will be on in my live stream section if you wanted to catch it up on, uh, on there. I know people don't often watch live streams after they've been streamed. But let's build the Cat Mario one as well. I feel really sad actually after building this because I will have built all the sets. I know, you're going to have to wait. I'm going to have to wait an entire week. But seeing as I was going to have to wait an entire week anyway, yeah. um, it's not that bad. No, no, not at so, all. Uh, so, yeah. There we go. So here's Cat Mario. Oh, I didn't look at that back. Yeah, the back's got no printing on that one, but the back on this one has a little tail. Oh, that's brilliant. So Love it. So, yeah, um, people have been asking questions, sorry. So Bigelow said, weird question, but is your city based on a real city like Manchester? No, it isn't. No, not at all. It's just whatever I fancy. And I want to start adding a lot more. So I want my city to look normal if that makes sense like a normal city but then i want to have easter egg stuff so i want to have spongebob in it batman uh the marvel guys i want to have some star wars stuff in there some harry potter and i want it to be more like it looks like a normal hustle and bustle city but then when you look at the closer little easter eggs you'll see stuff that you wouldn't recognize so for instance at some point the delorean's going to be going in there with doc and um and marty so just stuff like that i kind of like I don't think it needs like to, to be have too. Fun with it, yeah, it? it's it, it's not a real city, uh, and yeah, if I was going to do that, I'd build model trains and just have a train track in here. Yeah. So. But yeah, you do like um, you take inspiration from things, but really mix it up. With yeah, stuff. basically. So Jack Studios asked, "What are your thoughts on Lego Marvel superheroes?" I love Marvel in general. Like I love DC. I love Marvel. I used to read all the comics as a kid. 
Um, but I'm not too keen on the level models here as sets. I find they're a bit too more like too much playability and stuff. The figures are awesome. And I think I'm going to get the um, the Avengers Tower because that's really cool. But other than that, I haven't really bought any Lego Marvel sets. The only ones I bought, actually, if you pass me one of those over there, uh, I've got actually these ones that I built that I was going to, I'm going to review at some point. I've got this one. I've got the Iron Man one. I was going to do a video on both of them together, just showing these. But I haven't really bought any big uh, Marvel sets, have I? They're only little small ones like this. So, um, so yeah, let's build the, uh, the Cat Mario suit as well and get this open. There we go. Now, this one's the one where you can climb up walls, I believe, to gain coins. Mm -hmm. So um, that's a pretty cool ability, I suppose. But there we go. Oh, It'll be interesting this is supposed to see to be. how they um, translate to playing. Yeah, I wonder if it's like almost cheating. Mm. But uh, hopefully not. I suppose it doesn't really matter because you can cheat anyway if you wanted to. You can oh, just jump to the end and stuff. Uh, so there we go. Um, let's build this quickly. Okay. Chat saying, has anyone said yeah. anything? Ooh. Sorted most of my Lego. Good job, mate. Good job. Lego friends too. <laughs> uh, lucky, my collection is seven years old, so I have a lot of Lego to sort. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Ooh, yeah. I wish I still had my old Lego because it would be brilliant for the Lego City. Um, yeah. Uh, no worries, no worries at all. As long as you're chatting and listening and things, that's awesome. Yeah. Two years, yes. Two years. Oh, people are just saying in it now in the chat. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. let's just add the hat bit here, the little do. piece, and then. Uh, what are you saying? I was going to say, I think. Um... Pops box shop was uh, the person I've seen with the most Lego to sort. Oh, definitely, <laughs> yes. He does it for a living, though. Well, not for a living, no. it's a side thing. I think he wants to do it for a living. Um, oh, but yeah. So, Bringer said, you need a little bit of Monkey Kid fighting in Jaga. I probably will do that in my Chinatown when it gets made. Yeah, I've got lots of ideas floating around. I just haven't got the big Ninjago sets to really kind of tie it together. So... People ask, will I build a turtle last on a stream? Yes, I will. Of course I will. If you guys want me to, I will do it. Um, so usually, yeah, if you guys want me to do build stuff on streams as well, it's great to say that in the hauls that I do. So if you get to watch the hauls and see what I buy, if you guys recommend which ones you want me to build on a stream, I will happily build them on a stream. Like, no worries at all, because uh, I'll have to build them anyway. So, um, so yeah. But there we go. There's Cat Mario. There's this kind of, that's his uh, little stand for that. So let's put Mario in that. Mm. Let's take off his underwear again. So he's a knackered, although he doesn't have any legs, to be honest. So let's. I do think so. Meow. So he has the little meow, which is kind of kind of cute. Now, this one is one of the ones I wish they did in a different version, but it's okay. Cat Mario is pretty cool. But basically, with Cat Mario, he does that and he goes meow every now and again. But he looks pretty cool with his little uh, bunny rabbit ears, or well, it's cat ears, aren't they? Yeah. And the cat tail. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I think it works quite well. Now, for me personally, and I don't know, again, because I'm a retro Mario fan, I would have loved this to have been Tanuki Mario, or as most people call him, Raccoon Mario, where he, ha where he could have had a printed raccoon tail in the ears. And I think that would have looked a lot cooler with the brown uh, kind of setup that he has. I would have loved to have seen that. But obviously, I'm a retro gamer, and maybe it's not aimed at me, to be honest, all of these sets. So, oh, now breaking the uh, breaking the stand. But yeah, that is the uh, there. We go. So I have to scan that into the game at some point. Yeah, it might have already done it. No, it might have done it because Mario is, I think, synced. Oh no, I turned him off, so he might not be synced now. So there we go. There are the two. They weren't very hard to build. Like I said, if you guys wanted me to build them on the screen, then there we go. But I'll make Mario back to normal. And I'll there he is. Back in his normal clothes. But oh no, he's pretty cool. I really do like this this figure. See you later. See you later. There we go. So that is the uh, the buildable uh what I don't know what they call Suits. them. They, they call them power, power up packs. Power They're called power up. Obviously it's a power up, isn't it, in the game. So so yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but on at the bottom bottom of all the things, this says power up pack, for instance, in the yellow. I don't know if that can you can see that on the sets, but then these ones have Basically, in green, they have expansion set at the bottom to try and make it a bit clearer. 
and then the starter pack has a starter pack on it. So there we go. So people saying Tanuki. Yeah. But I said Tanuki, didn't I? Oh, I think he said it's about it wrong. Yeah, Tanuki Mario would have been absolutely amazing. Um, but sadly, we didn't get that. But uh, people said, you guys look like you are burning right now. Yeah, I think it's just um, we opened the lighting. the lighting. Yeah, the lighting was... Um, uh, this webcam is not too great. It's just we can't... Yeah. There's not none available to buy at the moment. We did manage to get hold of a microphone earlier, so that should be coming hopefully for the streams next week. To hopefully, I have to figure that out during the week to maybe get the audio sounding a bit nicer when that arrives. Yeah. Um. And then yeah, if we can, there's some things I've been looking into to to improve these streams as we, you know, we grow and get a bit bigger. But lots of money needed to go into it. Obviously, buy sets. There's stuff on the side as well to buy for the, uh, for the stuff as well. So. Uh, I think people have said lots of things. Yes. Brick in it, you should copyright your name. <laughs> There's lots of other channels called Brick in it. That's why you can't find me, to be honest. Uh, the Lego minifigure has to be one of the best Lego minifigures. I agree. I think it's awesome. I really like it. Another weird question, but if you had the money and time, would you, to travel, would you take your city to Lego conventions? Uh, not my city. I don't think it's good enough, to be honest. I would feel a bit underwhelmed. Maybe in the future, if I get mills plates and stuff like that. My city is not easy to take apart, so um, I probably have to do the mills technique and stuff like that. It might be something we do in the future, definitely. I mean, it depends if this ever becomes a full-time job. And, yeah. You know, I think if it's a full-time job, it might be more achievable. Yeah, you never know. Uh, it yeah. would be great to do it. Yeah, definitely. Um, Sean said, about 50 minutes ago, I hated Lego Mario. Now I love Lego Mario. <laughs> I think these are those kind of sets. I think that's something yeah. that you were the same, didn't you? You were yeah. like, why are you wanting to buy all of these? They're a waste yeah. of money sort of thing. And, and I, 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 I loved them from the get-go. Yeah. So Jack said, yes, I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme because they are so nostalgic to me, and I love the show, my Lego set. It's one of the small set that came with Michelangelo. Yeah, I don't know which one I've got. Uh, I think it is the Lair. I think it does come with Michelangelo and Leonardo, the one I've got. Hopefully it's the right one that you're thinking of, but um, yeah, I need to collect the other two turtles at some point, so I need to get them all to have in the city. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we saw that one, so I've obviously jumped around a bit. Sorry. Uh, Keep going down. There we go. If you get an Elgato cam link, you can use a camera as a webcam. Yes, I know uh, about the Elgato. They are insanely expensive at the moment. But there's another thing that I'm looking at, which is a lot more expensive than that, but it allows me to use four cameras to do live streaming. So that's a little, that's the potential of how good these streams could become in the future. So, um, so yeah. So uh, Atiza said she's going to stream now. Okay, that's cool. Well, don't worry, we're almost at the end of ours anyway, so we'll yeah. probably just be another 15 minutes. And um, so, yeah, and then we'll be done, I think. Uh, I think I want a hands-on go with these sets. Yeah, I think that's the thing. I think that's what people would have wanted. And hope you know, it's annoying that Lego can't do that in the sets. You putting it in wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah, people are gonna go check it out. Ooh. Brixie said, "Hey, hope I'm not too late." Well, we're here for another fifteen minutes ish. I would have thought maybe not that long actually. Are you on the third and final bag or? One more so for people who have just arrived, um, we've just done the treasure hunt here with the cheap cheeps and we just built the Mario suits as well. So we got these two, which is the Cat Mario, ooh, Cat Mario and the Fire Pack one. Um, we've got a cheap cheap uh, characters here, which are the new ones with the new wings. They're pretty cool. And then we also got Toad and Toadette, which are over here, which uh, they're pretty cool buildable figures as well. So um, very, very cool. I'll be doing reviews of these this week anyway, guys, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah. Uh, and then people said, uh, not really a huge fan of Lego SpongeBob anymore. <laughs> God, you said you're like my biggest fan of those last week, uh, but it's all right. Uh, now, oh, Lorraine said, now what about dinner? So maybe you can't stream just yet a tease. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, people are saying you really moved from theme to theme. <laughs> uh, first it was cars, then it was SpongeBob, now it's Mario. Oh, we've got a new person again. Hi, Jan Wei Dai, I think I said that right. Hi, how's it going? Nice to have you on the stream. Yeah, so yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, is that the same one? Yeah. Uh, is it? Exactly. Ah, okay, because yes. I'm always not too sure, because I get a few of the names that I can never pronounce, so I'm terrible at it. 
Uh, we're on the third and final bag of the, um, well, it's a desert pokey basically, but I can try and hold him up. He is supposed to go in this, I think. Is it actually, is it told you to slide it down now? No, not yet, but I think that's what Well, this is what you do. So basically you have this as a stand for him and that's a rail piece there. And then basically what you do is he only has one with the, um, with the barcode and you slide the pieces down to the bottom um, like so. And it basically clips all of them in bar the bottom one. So there he is. And then you have a big hammer mallet, basically, that whacks it out, which is yeah. pretty funny. But there is the, uh, the Desert Pokey. He's really, really cool. I'm excited for the playability of this. Yeah, uh, I think this is a quite cool one for us. For so you said they like Tone Tedder. Yeah, they're really cool. I mean, that's basically the reason you would buy that set, I think. Mm, um, really we need a Lego Shy Guy Battle Pack. Yes, Shy Guy is my favourite character, and I really wish I could have got the, uh, the Bullet Battle. I can't remember, it's called Bullet Bill Barrage or something, or... I think he's called Bullet Bill. He's called something else, isn't he? But, but yeah, that's what I'm going to get just for Shy Guy, really, that one. Um, he said, imagine how expensive a Mario Battle Pack would be for £75. I think, to be honest, if they weren't the electronic, I think they're actually not too badly priced, if I'm yeah. being honest. Like, £17.99 for this seems pretty good. Yeah. Some of them are a bit weirdly priced. Um, I don't know if it's to do with the unique pieces they use or what, but yeah, I quite like it. Um, I don't think there've been any. I mean, that one's probably to me. I don't quite see the value in the Toads one. Quite it's seventy-five, yeah. but I think Bowser's Castle is pretty good for a thousand pieces. Um, and I think the Star Pack's actually pretty worth it, in my opinion. Especially if you can get the two promos on day one, definitely. And I think it's worth it. So, I think I would pick up the Starter Kit, Bowser's Castle, and the NAS. Yeah, I think that's a great uh, choice there. If you wanted them as like a little bit of playability and display pieces, can't go wrong with Bowser's Castle and the NAS. Um, there you go. People say it's Boomer Bill Barrage. Yeah, weirdly, mm. Bill, Boomer Bill doesn't exist in the games, but he looks like the Bonsai Bill, but I don't know, weird. Shy Guy's my favorite character too. Yeah, he's awesome. And he's in the worst Mario game. He, he came from Mario 2, which no one ever remembers. But, uh, but yeah. Swaggy Bro Brian, hey, how's it going? I just oh. subscribed. Thank you very much for subscribing. That's absolutely awesome. Thank you very much. I think King Boo is the best. King Boo is awesome as well. Um, uh, yeah, that's an amazing character too, and I love him in Mario Kart. Um, but like I said, at least I got the little Boo, who's over here, smaller version of him. There he is. And I think he's looked pretty good as squares, to be honest. It looked a bit weird yeah. uh, when I saw pictures, but it, it does work quite well. Uh, so, yeah, I think he's a great little character as well. Put him back on this little clip. Uh, ooh, ooh, sorry, it just jumped massively again. Then we've got Lorraine. I would definitely spend the money. I love Mario. Yeah, I think they're great. Maybe I, Lorraine, that needs to be your your maybe um, yeah thing. Yeah, and then Jargo. So I just collect minifigs and everything now, like me. Yeah. Maybe Lorraine needs to be Mario. Yeah. So what is a Lego theme you want that Lego can't make for reasons? I want Deadpool. I don't watch the movies or read the comics. I just want Deadpool. <laughs> Oh, that's an interesting one. Let me go through the chat and then I'll talk about that a bit more. They didn't call it Bullet because it's for kids. I don't think it is, though, because Bullet Bill is actually in the blind bags. He's called Bullet Bill. So maybe it's the Bonsai for some reason. I don't know why, though. Um, I wasn't going to buy the starter set, but the NES and this stream has changed around. Yeah, the NES is really cool, the functionality of having Mario. Uh, yeah. I think that's really cool. Um You disabled my ability to live stream. Should I do building live streams on another channel? I disabled YouTube, I think. Oh, sorry. YouTube disabled my ability to live stream. Should I be building live streams on another channel? Up to you, mate. I mean, I think if you get a thousand subscribers, you'll be able to stream anyway. But I don't know why it would disable it. That seems a bit weird. There's but, certain, they've been doing some stuff around right. people's ages and things, I think. Ryan says, can you try to fit the tuning workshop into your city? Ryan, you hit the nail on the head there, mate, because that is going to be... If I get it out in time, it's the going to be mocking that uh, with another set this week to make it. It's not going to be much different from the actual set, but it's going to have a extra floor added onto yeah. it and stuff. Mash so yeah, stay sets. tuned. That'll be out on Friday. Um, so yeah. Oh, and then Sean says make a channel called Jack Studios Live. Yeah, that could that could work. Um, can't just come up on the screen. I'm watching for a couple of hours. Well, we're not going to be on a couple of hours, sadly. Um, we're near the end now, aren't we? But I did want to go back to that conversation here, which is what Lego theme you'd want that Lego can't make for reasons? Uh, so adult content, I would love to have seen Blade, uh, which is a Marvel character, vampire. That would have been absolutely awesome. 
Maybe some Quentin Tarantino sets would be pretty cool, like Pulp Fiction and stuff like that. Um, what other adult stuff that they would make? Maybe RuPaul's Drag Race. That would be quite funny. Yeah, I uh, that, me. they could be they could be Lego dolls. <laughs> Don't think they'd ever do that. No. Um, yeah, adult stuff, adult content stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure to be honest. It's a, a aliens would be amazing. Lego aliens or Terminator. I don't think they'll ever do that, but they'd be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, let us know in the chat if uh, people um, people have some ones that they were going to say. Um, let's quickly go spoilers. Yeah, it's not really a spoiler. You've got to see what I'm going to do with it. Ooh. Uh, did you guys get all the Mario sets? Uh, we haven't got all of them. We just literally had the ones that were available, but we are going to get all of them. August 1st, we're going to pick up all the other ones we can get hold yeah. of. So yeah. Oh, don't worry about the autocorrect. I guess that a lot of people. Go, I have all terrible autocorrect, even in my own yeah. premieres. So uh, yeah, what hat is that? So these were um, on uh, Amazon. They're just Mario hats. They were twelve ninety nine for both of them. So we thought they'd be hilarious for the streams because we're going to do a yeah. lot of these at the moment. Size come in. Hey, say how's it going? Hello. Says hi to both of us. How's it going, mate? Joker two thousand nineteen. Oh yeah, that would be good. Suicide Squad would be cool. Oh, um, that's a definitely. good shout. Dual face said Terminator will be very good. Yeah, I'm going to try and make my own Terminator at some point to be in the uh, a pub or something or like a biker bar. Mm. Bricking it, Le uh, sorry, Jack says Lego Captain America and the Winter Soldier sets I need. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. There are, I don't know if they do these ships now after the controversy with the Osprey because obviously they're military vehicles, aren't they? People saying, showing love to uh, Sai in the chat. There he is. I love his new sig fig again. That's that was done by generic stud. That sig fig there. So uh, great job. It looks just like him, doesn't it? Yeah. I think it looks really, really good. Well. Really well. So CB said, are you guys going to build the nest together? Yeah, we're going to build all of these sets together. Um, so I think we're going to be doing it at four o'clock on Saturday and four o'clock on Sunday next weekend as well. And I may do it on the Monday too because I have Monday off at four. I don't think yeah. you'll be doing it on the Monday though. No, I don't. Um, have Monday off. But yeah, we'll be getting the rest of the sets. So we'll try and see which. I think what we'll do is we'll get all the sets on Saturday uh, that we can get. And then we'll literally say to you guys, which ones do you want us to build first in the stream? So if you guys are interested in that, it could be pretty cool. I might leave the nest till later. I don't know what you guys think of that. Do you want to see the sets or do you want to see the nest? But we'll kind of see who's on the chat at the time, what they want us to build. Yeah. The nest could take the entire weekend. So it's yeah. so whether you want to see that or the other kind of things. So, um, so yeah. Sean said, can we see Desert Pokey Pokey? Yeah, I'll show you the full set when it's built. It's almost done now. I think they're just showing, I think Monty Mole is getting built in a second, or have you already built him? I built him. I built him. So, people said, imagine if Lego made Chucky. Oh, yeah. There was rumours they were going to do haunted sets, like horror films, like Freddy Krueger and Chucky. That would be awesome. Uh, and Acne Kemet calls really good as well. That would be pretty cool. Can you guys check out my channel? Yeah, if anyone, yeah, check out other people's channels in the uh, chat, guys. It's always good to check out stuff and see people that are in there. Just you, Flash is too cringy. Arrows season one or two are pretty good. And Jerry Stud's back. Hey, hey, mate, how's it going? So yeah, if you guys go and check out each other's channels, if you get a chance in the chat, there's some good, great uh, content creators. Sai Connor, Jerry Stud, Dual Face Production, Sean, Jack Studios, lots of guys in here. Rogue from earlier as well. Brick Clicker, there's absolutely loads of the lots of you guys that are in here. You're all part of the Lego community. Go and check each other's channel out because it's always great to do that. Okay, so is that the full thing? So this guy is the one that comes in the uh, in the promotional pack. So this set might feel too expensive if you're going to get the promo, really, because you only get the Desert Pokey other than that. Or if you wanted two, this could go great with that set. <coughs> and you're sneezing. This one could go great with that set because that's also <laughs> a sand set. So maybe if you wanted a, yeah. a desert area, maybe it's great to get two Monty Moles. But this is Monty Mole. So he's got his printed face there, and that's pretty that's much recording. all it is. That's yeah, fine. And he has the uh, the barcode there. And then we have the Desert Pokey. Now, he is basically has to be put on this unless you're really good at balancing him. I reckon if you wanted to display him separately, actually, you could maybe put a... Oh, no, you can't because they're hooks. You may have to do some you'd modifying. Have, you'd have to change some of the bricks out. Yeah, but um, he has to basically go on that as a stand because he clicks in. Uh, and basically what the game of this is, you put Mario in there and you whack it with this. Uh, and he basically breaks the pokey. So let's have a go at doing that. I'll add the start and the uh, exit quickly onto this set. Uh, do you know where the exit flag is? Okay, over here. Try not to break the sets at the same time. So this will just be super, super quick because it's obviously quite a small level. But there we go. So you start the level and then basically Mario goes in this. 
and you basically hit him like that. And that is pretty much it. And then he has just one of them as a barcode here. And you just hit that to gain all the coins. And then there's Monty Mole again. And just the flag. So this is obviously a very short one compared to the others, but it does have some cool playability to add it in to other courses. And I think we got 16 coins there for that. So that is pretty much that set. Do you want to put him back together? I think the uh I would probably have. I know they put the one that one at the bottom, but I put yeah. that one at the top, yeah, yeah to make that's it harder so you get yeah. more coins. But you can do it however you want. Maybe that's to make increase the hardness because yeah. difficulty yeah. levels. So there we go. So that is the uh, the Desert Pokey set. I haven't got all of the set of this one here, but I've got a big chunk of it. Here is the uh, the um, the mushroom set here as well with uh, with all the other guys, and then obviously we have the Bowser's Castle and the uh, the starter kit as well, and these little packs. So I'll be doing reviews of all these this week, guys. Hopefully, there's not too much Mario content. Do let me know um, if you guys. Uh, find it too much i'm doing too much mario on the, the channel and uh, let me know but i just absolutely love these sets so yeah. i'm gonna get all of them and i just want to do them all but i'm still gonna do my city updates don't worry i'm still gonna do the worst of first stuff as well but for the reviews i just might try and get all of these out so if there's any other ideas you want me to do for lego mario want me to build custom sets or say oh can you try the desert pokey set with bowser's castle or something let me know and i might do those as quick videos for you guys 200 videos of playing them and giving you ideas of which sets you want to buy or if you want to me to do videos of like recommending what I would buy if I only had 50 pounds to spend or 100 pounds or anything like that. They could be quite good videos as well. But um, other than that, thank you all so much for joining. I'm just going to quickly go through the chat before we end it. Um, so people are all saying hi, hi, hi. I would like to promote my new videos. Mm -hmm. There we go. Dual face, like I said, he's another great tuber. What are you building now? Sadly, that is it. We've built all the Mario sets and we need to start getting ready for work tomorrow, sadly. But we will be doing the same time next week. So we're doing it four o'clock on Saturday and four o'clock on Sunday. Yeah. And like I said, I'll probably do it four o'clock on Monday as well, if you yeah. guys are interested. And the set in that. we just built was Desert, Desert Pokey. Desert Pokey. And then we did the Toad's Treasure Toad, Hunt. And the two uh, uh, earlier. Which you can't see, these two here. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. So please help me get to 3K. Oh, dear. Now people are. Shameless plug. There you go. Uh, why is Mrs. Brick in it Luigi and why are you Mario? Because maybe mainly because I can do the voice, I think. That's yeah, probably why. Basically, yeah. Yeah, so uh, no reason. I think she preferred green. Uh, I've got an orange, I've got orange hair, so it's not much different. Pretty similar colour, to be honest. Um, but yeah, and mainly the Mario sets are mine. You have got better with them, haven't you? I think you oh, I like them, them a lot now, more. but definitely it was. But yeah, uh, and then... Like if you try, I think we quite a while ago because someone says bless you. You sneezed ages. Yeah, ago. that was when I sneezed. There, because people are just advertising Thank the you, channel. Baby, people are on about how good Futurama would be. Yes, yeah. that would be great. We keep seeing them in the idea sets, but they never seem to come. Uh, yeah. to come here. People say they're on a desert poke, you know. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I do like this one. Um, people say love to see some custom sets. Thanks for the motivation to get mm. these sets. Probably not a good thing to be honest to give you motivation. Uh, seriously, swagger bro. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what that is. Help, I've fallen and can't get up. Oh dear. Okay. Hopefully that's not uh, serious. Word day for me, so I can't stay. But hi, people. Yeah, I know it's all, all different for everyone else. Uh, Lorraine said never too much Mario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really, I really hope that's the case. Like I said, there's a lot of these sets, and I am going to get them all. But yeah. if they do annoy you guys, I won't do them all the time, and I'll just mm -hmm. stagger them through the months. It's whatever you guys want to see. I hope people got. Lego Deadpool as well. Wait, sorry, my screen died. When are you talking about content? Oh, oh my screen died. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Please do a buying guide for Mario sets. Awesome. I might do that then. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm just saying, everyone check out people's channels and stuff. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. So yeah, I do. I try and watch most people that are on my thing. Uh, I've got quite a lot of you with notifications on, so when they're on, I don't necessarily uh, comment to all the videos, but I do watch quite a lot of them. I wish you could see. Yeah. That I watched them because uh, a lot of people don't realize I, I got, got one from Brick Sanchez earlier who messaged and he's just quite sm not I wouldn't say small he got 100 views and he came on saying oh check out my channel I was like I've already subscribed to him I already knew him and I was already subscribed to him because he does some great city content so um yeah. but yeah it's just one of those things there's lots of YouTubers and I try to mix and match and watch different people yeah, uh, for different things. stuff yeah but I mean it's amazing that you guys watch um like I said couldn't ask for more really I think it's absolutely mm -hmm. awesome but we're going to go now 
Uh, so thanks for watching and we'll catch you next week. And hopefully I'll catch you on a couple of premieres that I'll be doing this week as well. But thank you very much. And if a tease is a is a, gonna be on as well, I think. So maybe go and check out a teaser's live stream. Streaming oh, is that what it is? Like I oh, think something like that. I think Family Bush has just come in as well. Oh, Sorry, no. we're just literally just uh just going. So so yeah. Yes. So cool, cool, cool. All right, see you guys anyway. Thank see you. you. Soon. Thank bye you bye. for joining. Bye bye. -bye.